That did not unmute me. I hit the unmute button and it did, it did not work. Hi, everyone. Okay, that actually worked. Alright. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to Xenoblade. Let's, let's play a video game, shall we? Let's just get into it. Because we got grinding to do. <laughs> yeah. To those who, uh, to those who did not show up to the last Xenoblade stream, or maybe you haven't watched the VOD for it yet, uh, we got stuck on a boss. As usual, tried to do some story progress, got stuck on a boss. What's new with this game? Uh, so we're going to be doing some grinding to start off, and then we're going to try to fight the boss again. With that being said, uh, I would like to, and I'll probably bring this up again later on in the stream. Uh, you know what? We'll wait a couple minutes, actually. I was going to announce a few things, uh, before we, you know, like, at the beginning of the stream. But I figured, we'll, we'll wait a little bit. We'll wait for some people to come in. We'll wait for some people to show up before I make some announcements. We'll just jump in and do some grinding. With that said, how's everyone doing? Doing good? I have had an interesting day. It's been an interesting day. Uh, uh, <laughs> I could easily boil down today to me being in the middle of something and then immediately realizing I have something super important that I need to do in like five minutes. At case in point, so I woke up, I slept in a little bit today. Normally I get up at like 10.30 a.m. Slept in, you know, got out of bed at like 11.30. And uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go grocery shopping and uh, things will be things will be great. I'm going to get all my grocery shopping done. So I, you know, got, I got paid yesterday. Uh, it'll be good. And I was about halfway through my grocery shopping. And I think around that point, it was like 12.20. And then it dawned on me. Oh crap, I have class at 1 o'clock. So, uh, I quickly, uh, went to, you know, like, one last store, went to my local grocery store, and, uh, grabbed some lunch, and I had just enough time to make my lunch before class, and I was actually, I had to eat during class, which they kind of got mad at me for, because, uh, it was a, it was a uh, interactive class today. Uh, up until now, like all of our classes have just been mostly lectures, of just the instructors going in and being like, "Okay, we're gonna go over this PowerPoint over a thing." Today it was like they were having us do like interview prep, so we actually had to write, like write stuff down and and had to they essentially interview each other. And uh, they were like, "All right, we want everyone to have their cameras on." And, uh, yeah, I, I did not have my camera on for, like, the first 15 minutes because uh, I was eating. And then the second time that happened was, like, right before the stream started because I, I, I was setting up the stream. I started setting up around, like, 5.30. Got everything set up. Was everything, you know, mostly good to go. And then I was like, all right, cool. I think I got, like, 20 minutes left until the stream starts. I look at the time. Oh, God, the stream starts in five minutes. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's been one of those days. So, probably, it's probably Sunday, I'm gonna go finish doing all my groceries, because, uh, that, that's one of the things that we're gonna talk about later on. Uh, we'll wait till we get a break before I talk about it. Uh, there's gonna be some schedule changes. Nothing crazy, but, uh, you know, if that's something that you, uh, if it's important to you, like, knowing what my schedule is, uh, it'll be something you'll want to tune into. Also, how am I? I was not paying attention to my health at all. Why am I so low on health? I should probably, uh, probably boost some evasion. Yeah, let's go for that. It's been a hot minute since I've actually like sat down and played this game. So uh, I think starting off with grinding is kind of a smart idea, especially considering the fact that we are struggling this much. I mean, technically, we're fighting two enemies at once, but you know, okay, one. We're finding one enemy. Was that actually counted as a ba as a side attack? I don't I don't know. Right, uh, oh, okay, that went for Lao. Wow, Lao really went up the ranks with us uh, in terms of levels. Dang, he caught up. 
know what. I got max TP. Oh my god. Alright, cool. Let's go for it. Let's go for overdrive. I don't know if this is actually going to do much. Oh, it actually did. Okay. I don't know. I still don't fully understand overdrive, if I'm being brutally honest. I really, really don't understand it, but uh, we're here. We're doing it. It's probably level up. Or no, I did that last time. Pretty sure I leveled up arts. Uh, let me look. Wow, we are not at max Moranium yet. That was one of the other things I was going to look at. Now look and see if we have max Moranium. We do not. Ready? Let's move it. Probably don't need it. Well, actually, no, I do need to boost my TP because I used, uh, I used Overdrive before. Is that going to shoot the guy behind? That did not shoot him. You serious? Okay. I kind of wish I would give myself a, uh, a topple art at some point. But, oh well. I'll just use my TP. I, 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 I'm noticing I'm gaining enough of it quickly that uh, I can actually start using it. I would like if my reload times were. Oh god. Okay. You know what? Uh, no, we're good. I was, about to, I was about to go for some. Uh, about to go for some heal, but nope. We're good. Don't need it. Really don't need it. Nice job, Lynn. You got to level up. What about the rest of us? Oh, we are not even close. Oh, you know what? This might be a bad idea. But I think what I want to do is I want to just fight all the enemies uh, up to the boss. And then we will uh, we'll go for the boss. And if we lose, we lose. We just grind some more. We'll just fight all the enemies up to the boss. Get our get ourselves boosted. Get our TP. Make sure our TP is high while we get right in there. I think that'll be good. Right, Stagger six should be easy to topple if someone can topple him. I can't. Is this guy even doing? It? He's not. Gonna, he's not gonna do anything. Okay. Thanks, Elma. That did not last very long. That's fine. I feel like that howl's like the most powerful thing these things have. We got Let's move. Really not getting much experience out of this. I'm not realizing. I should probably fight that thing. Whatever that thing is. It's only level 24. I should probably, you know, attempt, attempt to take it out. Come at me, big boy! I want to know. I should probably look and see whose skill is uh, giving me a heal right off the bat. Because that seems incredibly unnecessary. I, I'm going to be brutally honest. That, that sounds incredibly unnecessary. Uh, yeah, let's go for early bird. Let's go for it. Sir? You know, I almost wonder if going in with full TP will actually be a smart idea for the boss. Because, you know, maybe I could go in with, like, Overdrive right off the bat. It'd probably make it go berserk quicker, but eh, it's whatever. So, you know, nobody, nobody ever pays attention to that, right? You know what? We're gonna do that. I'm just gonna save my TP, and we're gonna go in. We're gonna go in guns blazing. Okay, sir. You know, I, I, this fight's been fun and all, but like. I, I'm only here for the TP, and I need you to just die. Thank, thank you. Let's go. Cool. All right, max TP. Thankfully, that doesn't slowly drain as we go. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna save just to be safe. Probably don't need to do this because uh, I keep my experience even if I die. All right, let's go. I saw the Lego. I'm coming for that ass. All right. 
go for a thirsty edge right off the bat. Elma, I'm in the middle of blasting. Can't really do that. Okay, yeah, well, miss that. And you staggered me. All right, oh, that's cool. That's fine. All right. Trying to at least keep some of my physical arts so I can, uh, you know, do some damage while I go into... Here we go! Let's fucking do it! Let's see if overdrive this quickly. This might actually be a bad idea. Now that I realize it, uh, because, you know, I, I, uh, won't have any arts left to help me, or I won't have any TP, you know, just for later on, but, nope, that, that got him to about half. We did 8,500 damage. Not the worst, but, you know, could have been worse. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep my health going. Just gonna, just gonna make sure I constantly have some health on me. Because that's important. I swear to God. I swear. To, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. I was about to jinx myself. I am not even gonna say it. Wait, we toppled it? Hold on. We toppled the thing? Hold on. Oh, it's got, it's got friends. This is fine. This is fine. Just guess what? Shit! <laughs> I got knocked down. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. God damn it! All right, just gotta keep our health up. I I will sacrifice the damage boost based on positioning if it means uh you know, especially because it's got it's got resistance. How the hell did that? All right, whatever. Last dead. Who cares? Uh, I'm gonna go for some evasion. Probably should do lower enemy detection, but you know what? It's fine. Cause guess what? I'm about to fucking jinx it. We are literally gonna beat this thing first try. Are you goddamn serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, we actually beat it first. God damn it, I fucking well, hate this game. Fun. Let's get the hell out of here. I had so much trouble with that in the last stream, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I just show up two weeks later, never even touched this game. And uh, yeah, we beat it. You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> wow, with this glasses. <laughs> oh god, excuse me. I swallowed that very loud. The hell is that? Oh, that's right, the Telethia. Wow, Telethia does it pulls a Xenoblade one. You know, grabs the lion and flies. He's gonna eat that thing. The Telethia saving the party members. This is a, this is a Xenoblade 1 thing. I was always curious about the story, uh, reason why Telethia are here. Yeah, I think that was kind of a dumb idea. What was it with that low frame rate shot? Jesus. I can't tell if it actually like, ripped the thing in half, but uh, I'm gonna assume it did. Oh no, it didn't. It just threw it. it. Looked like it was gonna rip it in half. Or, you know, eat it.
So we're gonna have to fight that thing at some point. That'll be fun. Was that thing trying to help us? Maybe. Or maybe it was just toying with us. Well, I think I could have taken it. <laughs> <laughs> we should get back to New LA. <laughs> I want to stop by the hangar and get a better look at the scale. <laughs> I could handle it. The, 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 the heart-shaped sunglasses contain my power. All I gotta do is take them off and, you know, all hell breaks loose. I'm like, I'm like Cyclops, except way dumber. Oh my god, that was awesome. Alright, cool, we did it! Report to Commander Van Dam. We, we actually beat it first try. Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself. The fact that I actually beat that first try. After, you know, not touching this game for two weeks, and then the last stream struggling to beat that boss. It was like I didn't even do any- I, okay, no, I did do something different. I, I conserved my TP. He went guns blazing at the at the beginning of the fight. Also forgot to do this earlier, but blazing. There you go. Uh, how much marine? Okay, we haven't gotten any more. Uh, we need to go this way because we need to talk to in front of the restricted hangar in NLA's administrative district. Oh, so we gotta go this way. Wait. Oh yeah, we gotta go this way. Right? No? Hold on. I'm looking at the map wrong. I gotta, I gotta look at my gamepad. It's over here. Apparently we are supposed to meet him here. It, it says right here. Uh... Oh, we probably need to go down. Whoa. Oh yeah, because we're gonna get our skill. No, we gotta go down. I remember now. We, we gotta go down. I, I had this issue with the que with a quest earlier in the game, the Meranium quest. I forgot. You gotta you gotta go down here. Well. Pop. Technically, there is an elevator, but we're robots. It doesn't matter. My shins don't hurt. Ooh, side quest. Hang on. Hey, listen. Side quest. Side quest will probably never do. With uh, whoever you so so. St Solstanasa. <laughs> I love hearing these things swear. Uh, sorry, but if I can put a full up in the moment, you can take it yourself to walk to the backlog. You see? Okay. About to ask you to go, okay? I've got the materials I need, don't I? It's full it's a full time job cleaning up after the messes you humans make, you know? I mean, you probably see machines as convenient things to use up and throw away, yes? Uh can you explain how you feel they're more than that. And you're the exception, yes, but I agree that the machines are more than mere tools. They've got a part of, a, of the soul of whoever built or maintains them inside them, you see, and they deserve to be handled with respect, don't they? Well, anyway, alright, cool. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll ask to do... Wait, you want to help? Is there an ulterior motive here? It's pity, yes. I don't know your angle is, but you're offering an agreeable. Repairing a kitchen. I love you, kitchen gun! Okay, go find some shiny new parts. Apparently, I don't have all the parts. That's one of the things that I always look forward to when it comes to Xenoblade games, is do I have all the parts before the quest is even done? You know, before I even accept the quest. Ah, I was correct. We gotta go, we gotta go in like the training area. Restricted hangar, hangar entrance. I, I read that as hangar because I've apparently been playing too much Final Fight. We finally get our mechs. People. Commander, what are you doing out here? Did they seal off the area? Actually, I was waiting for you, Lynn. Hmm? Why me? You want to think you know, from this angle, mech? due to the color of my uh, pants, it, it kind of looks uh, like I pissed myself. Good. Because I'm, I'm gonna say it's a it's research. a lighting shot, not you, you know, know reel it in, that. You get first crack at it. You and your team risked a lot out there. You earned it. R really, sir? Everything's set up. They're expecting you. Yes, sir. Oh my God! Thank you so much, Commander. We get Max. Finally, 
you know, 40 goddamn hours into the game. I don't know why we're looking at this thing. Oh, texture's out of load. <laughs> it's just a weird little quirk of this game. Is this even a skill? It has enchanted armor. The external armor, maybe. It's fire aspect I'm not four. Any known materials or components for the purple frame part. In fact, I can't even find a power source. Maybe it's like an idol or something to some alien god or whatever. What this guy must have played a shit ton of Minecraft. It's fully enchanted and it's netherite. Let's see here. There is a cavity in the middle of the chest area. If this thing is a vehicle, that'd have to be the cockpit. Hmm. Perhaps it's not a weapon? It was abandoned after all, and in that godforsaken place. But it was also worth the gangly and sacrificing all those soldiers to try and recover it. Surely it must hold some value. I love how humanity is about to be wiped from existence, and yet these guys still still have the desire to wear suits. If you ask me, that's time better spent studying that Ares of yours, Elma. Alright, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about, would you? Let me explain. The Ares is what Elma Random. Oh, right. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Apparently Lau does. Oh dang, I actually really like the lighting of this area. Those are your orders. Have I made myself Ooh! We get introduced to these characters! I love these characters! I love their design so much! Seem displeased, Gajog. Gajog, I love this guy! Look at him! He's so cool! The great hero of Roth does not enjoy taking orders from the Ganglia. Perhaps he feels it beneath him. It appears nothing is beneath me of late. Hmm. I still hear the anger in your voice, the way you spit out the words. I love his design. Except I love everything. Fate. I love everything about him. He's... I love that entire race of like the cat, the cat aliens. They're so cool. Oh, but how rude of me! Should I have said former prince? I never cared much for titles, counselor Luxar. It's Grand Master, damn you! <laughs> the entire Ganglion organization is at my. Oh, so I like her. I like her design a lot. And your people. Fun fact: uh, there's a character in I Flame of Corruption that is like directly inspired by her. I have taken a lot of inspiration oh, from this game. I've realized that. Like, my I shit on this game a lot, but I secretly friends. like it. This is like my guilty pleasure game. You just gotta get to the mechs. Have you also forgotten the price the Rothian people will pay if you fail me? I promise you, it will not be pretty. What will happen if the humans beat you to the prize? Hmm? Need I remind you of that as well? No, you need not. Then mind your tongue, former prince. Unless your pride can feed and clothe your people. Filthy cur. Yet I will suffer him gladly, if he can help lead me to you, oh great one. I hate how low volume these cutscenes are. I absolutely hate how low volume they are. I don't understand the sound mixing of this game. We did it! We, we beat chapter 6. As the game, the game's gonna load. There we go. Getting your skill license. 
We hear you're shaping up to be quite the operative. Well then, you think you got what it takes to be scale worthy? See me when you're ready to go for your license. I'll be waiting. Okay, thanks for phasing through me, dude. Real, real cool of ya. Uh, oh. Oh, it looks like everyone just went straight to level 26. Cool. Uh. Alright. So, we need to talk to Van Dam. Where do we go to talk to Van Dam? Because that's what I want to do. I want to get my scale license. Uh, I think he said bar go to the barracks? Is that what he said? Because I want to get my scale license. I want to get that now. I want the giant robot. I want it. I want the giant robot. Uh, but there is a side quest we should probably accept. I don't remember if there's like a side quest associated with, uh... With uh, the the thing. All right, cool. You're an almost team, right? We're working on the colonel. Let me see if there's a type. It's or yeah. Uh, doing all right, kid. You could handle any task folks throw your way. I'm jealous. Like right now, I've got a request in to survey a mountain way up north. It's a nasty spot. And I have no idea how to tackle it. The mountain itself is dangerous enough. Then you add all the weird wildlife. It's mentioned it's been crawling with xenos lately for some reason. Those are those reptile-like ones, the man on or whatever. I bet they're using their crazy high-tech weapons to kill everything. Okay. I don't think the... I was gonna say the man on or the nice ones. No, wait a minute. My buddy says they're all super dangerous. They'll kill you five times before you hit the ground. <laughs> that... Alright. Oh god, is she hitting on me? She want me to, she want me to go hiking? I, 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 I took a girl hiking once. It was fun. I'm gonna split the reward 50-50. All I have to do is beat up any weird Xenos. Alright, cool. Oh, and she's gonna give me a bikini for it. Hell yeah, dude. This is one sick date. Take me out hiking and then you buy me a bikini? You're really easy to talk to, you know that? Us blades aren't robots. Sometimes you get a job, it just doesn't feel like doing. Uh, technically we are robots, actually. Um, actually, we are robots. Shut up. Alright, cool. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna do this quest just yet. Cause, uh... We gotta- Oh, no. No, I'm trying- I wanna go talk to Van Dam. Cause I want- I want my skill. We're probably gonna spend half this stream just customizing our scale and then going around exploring with it. Not that you can do much because you need the flight module to do a lot of your exploration. Uh, Van Dam, here we go. Working hard out there. Hey there. Are you still all right? Getting used to life as a blade. Uh, gripe about how Elma is too harsh. Oh, that's all. Yeah, I won't do that. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I've been through the damn ringer lately. You're still doing, you're still doing good work. Anything you ask me about? Any worries or requests? No need to hold back. I'm in a good mood today, so your head will probably stay on your shoulders. It's only natural for a commander to want to keep tabs on his people, right? So come on, lay it on me. Ask Phantom to double the reward for your next mission. I want to I want my, I want a robot. Oh yeah. That's right. Forgot you didn't have one. Wait, you don't even have a skill license, do you? Whoops. Sorry about that. Oversight on my part. God. I I know people like this, where it's like, you do a job for so long, but then like there's that one thing that is part of the job that you need certification for, and they just forget, so then they yell at you for not doing that thing, and it's like, why didn't you do this thing? And it's like, I'm not certified. They're like, you're not certified? We're doing this for months, and it's like, yeah, maybe you should certify me then. It's great. And then they won't certify you, and then they still expect you to do the job that you need to be certified to do, and then you don't do it, and they continuously get pissed at you, and it's like, certify me then. It's great. I, I have no idea what that's like. You need a license to pilot a skill, see? We only issue, we only issue them to blades with a proven, ta proven track record. That way we know they have the skill to make use of them. Give me your track record, I'm tempted to issue one right now, but it ain't standard operating procedure. Wouldn't be fair to the others, you know? 
But clear the license exam and it's all yours. Alright, cool. So what do we gotta do? Uh, pass each of the eight divisions exam and exchange... Uh, okay, cool. Let's do it. So make this our main objective. And we have to do all eight. It's literally giving us eight individual... Oh, these are all... Oh, no, these are all unique monster missions, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. Okay, whoo. Oh, wow. Wow, we actually... Oh, my God. We've almost beaten this one already. We just have one item to collect. Oh, uh, what's this one? Oh, I didn't get to check. Okay. What's this one? Complete the handyman on the pip squeak, and that's incredible. Once you get your eight certifications done, go tell Walter in the hangars. Then once you pass the final exam, you'll be officially a scale pilot. Pretty exciting, yeah? Ha! <laughs> sure it is. But getting you in a scale will be good news for us blades, too. Got high hopes for you. Good luck. Wait, I actually... I actually already beat one. Did I really? Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. I already did one of them. Cool. Alright, well, we now have pretty much our objective for the stream. Uh, yeah. Alright, proficiency exam. No, the scale. Yeah, no, right here. Proficiency exam 2. Exam 2. Uh, V12 Blitz Blatas in Noctilum. Is this going to tell me where they are? It is. It actually is. I don't have to pull it up on the tablet. Cool. Uh, where are they? Oh, they're all right here. Interesting. Alright, cool. Well, then let's... Look at do it! I actually forgot this entire side quest. Oh, there's a quest though this way. Interesting. Uh, you know what? Oh, actually, we still have Lau on our team. And we'll take care of this first, and then we'll go get L. We'll, we'll actually have a full party for once. Or do we already? I think we already have a full party. Yeah, because you can only have four party members. Never mind, we already have a full party. Hi, GGO. How are you? You're human? Good. No, I'm not. I'm a robot. If I run into a blade all the way out here, I guess my luck has it completely conked out. Anyway, I could use some help on an outfitter assignment. What do you say? Uh, sure. Came out here on a request from Sakuraba Industries. They wanted us to test out some new scale weapon on the indigents around here. Everything was going fine until some crazed meth fight started attacking. Anyone not inside a scale was wiped out in the first swipe. Mine was totaled, but at least kept me alive. Problem is, all that weapon test data is still inside it. This mission came straight from Isobe. Okay. But now that you've shown up, I may have a way out of this. What do you say? Will you help me crap get the test data? Blah, 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 blah. Pay me. Cool. He'll give me a band-aid if I, if I do this. Oh, shit! I accidentally denied the quest! Oh, my God. I accidentally denied the quest. Yes, I will accept the mission. I will not set... There you go. Okay, cool. There we go! Alright, I got things to kill first. We're gonna go, we're gonna go kill it. Excuse me, sir. I don't need to fight you. You're way too weak for me. We gotta go this way. There are there are things over here to murder. We gotta kill twelve of these things. Oh, are these the plant guys that we gotta kill? Is that what they are? Are they the plant things? I think so. Yeah. Oh no, they're the bugs. Oh. Here we go. Okay, cool. Nice. This will be easy. Yeah, this will be this will be hella easy. Hopefully these eight quests will actually be super simple and I don't have to try. So far, so far, that's what it looks like. Also, hey, it's, it, it is a man. Hello. It is me. So, uh, don't be, act surprised. I beat Sogaleo first try. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, you know the thing I was gonna grind for? I, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna fight all the enemies up to it. I'm gonna attempt the boss, and if I die, we'll just keep grinding and just keep going in that order. It yeah, be a first try. Wow. Nice 
Yep, yeah, uh, you know, I'm a little pissed, but it's fine. And anyways, uh, I thought that you get the scale like immediately after that. So I was like, cool, we finally get our scale. No, we have to do eight side quests and then we get our license that will allow us to buy the scale. So yeah, we're, we're currently doing side quests to get the scale. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is... Bullshit. <laughs> also, we uh, we did get introduced to arguably my favorite character in this game. Uh, you should not be surprised who they are. I don't remember her name though. Shows how much show shows her waifu material. If I only remember her damn name. This is my favorite character. What was your name again? Yeah, I don't remember her name. Uh, I know her design. Side bitch. I know her design. She's a, she's the uh, ninja cat girl. I you piqued my name. interest, sir. <laughs> yeah, she's she's my favorite character. Basically, there's an entire race that uh, I think you can either choose to befriend or make enemies with. They're uh, they're cat people. You of all people should know that that is going to immediately pique my interest. Oh, it, it piques my interest too. That that's why do you think she's my favorite character? Fair enough. I I literally like took her design and was like, yeah, I'm just gonna make a character out of this. I already this have my own, like, now. ninja cat girl in Flame of Corruption. I just never talk about her. This is my design now. <laughs> I'm taking this. <laughs> Mine. Yeah, I, 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 I've never really talked about that, but, uh, I, I do have my own, uh, like, cat girl OC. Nice. Best way I can describe it, imagine if Strider and Beast Boy fused and it was a cat. Pretty much her. Sounds about right. Anyways, we gotta kill bugs. And where the hell are the bugs? They are far away. Ugh. Also, how you been? Tired, but doing alright. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, th today was definitely one of those days where I just forgot I had a bunch of important things to do, so I'd start a task and then realize, oh shit, I have a thing in like 10 minutes that I need to go do. I love those moments. Because yeah. the same thing sort of happened to me. Except it wasn't, oh, I gotta go do this thing in 10 minutes. It's more so, oh shit, I should have been out of here 15 minutes ago. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Yeah, I, uh, I woke up and was like, alright, cool, it's my day off, time to go grocery shopping. And, uh, like 12.45, I, I'm at the grocery store and I realized, oh shit, I have class in 15 minutes. And, uh, today was a very important class day, so I, I definitely needed to be there. So I could not miss it. I mean, I could have, because they... Thankfully, my uh, instructors record the, uh, the lectures, so if you miss it, right. you don't have to be there. Like, today was actually the first interactive one. Uh, spoilers, I did not interact. Right. Uh, it was one of those things where it was like they were going over, like, building resumes. E essentially, they were teaching us how to give ourselves our uh, elevator pitch. And I tried very hard not to reference Kingdom Hearts during the whole lecture. Oh, please tell me how were you gonna reference it? Because uh, they were they were like they were teaching us like okay what's an elevator pitch and like I was gonna put in the chat in our Zoom call an elevator pitch is Kingdom Hearts, but nobody would have got in. Oh, because Kingdom Hearts was literally an elevator pitch. Cause, an like, elevator you, pitch. You know that the term is just quite literally just hey let's like a brief concept of you know, like an idea to propose to like a future employer. So like right. if you want if you want to uh, make an elevator pitch of yourself, just be like 30 seconds, be like, hey, I'm this, I've done this, these are my credentials, this and that, please hire me. That, that's right. kind of, that, that's literally what our, our entire lecture today was, was just that. So, uh... Fun. Yeah, I, I, I was there until they went into the interactive part where they're like, okay, we're gonna go into uh, we're gonna go into groups and everyone's gonna do elevator pitches with each other, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not, and I left. 
Bye. I got the info I needed, and uh, I waited until the lecture was done, and then I watched the recording. I was like, I am not interacting with these people. Yeah, I'm with you there. Because trust me, I know how to do an elevator pitch. I've, uh, this is literally how I got into the IT industry. Right. So, I, I, I know how to do it. Uh, what? Express shock that no susu. Uh, what the fuck am I doing right now? Apparently, I'm giving this guy uh, ingredients. Uh -huh. Apparently, this is a quest that I accepted earlier and forgot. Oh yeah, cause this is the guy that wants to make clothes. I think. Friend is too kind. Okay, apparently I've got clothes. things for him. Okay. Yes, humans sometimes wear hats that look similar to this. I swear, if he makes like a fedora, I will laugh. A pom pom beanie! Oh no, Susu can start a huge sales campaign around new and upon made pom pom beanies. Oh, I'd actually wear that. I heard beanie. Wait, did and I, I just get cat that? ears for that? Hold on, did I? Is that actually what I got? <laughs> did I read that correctly? Possibly. Oh my god, I did. I got cat ear. <laughs> it works. I got cat ears. Oh, all right. All right. So I guess I have to ask the question. Do we do the cat ears or do we keep the soul bad guy headband? Ooh, that is a good question. Or do we... Do we... Oh yeah, that's right. I bought the devil horns because I thought they'd be cool and then they're not. They were cool until they weren't. Yeah. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm still waiting, because I, I spent all my money on that sailor uniform, and I still can't wear it. I'm like 10 levels under. That's what I'm really waiting for. Maybe we'll put on the cat ears when we get when we can wear the sailor uniform. You know, go full weed. There we go. Also, uh, I was gonna, I wanted to wait to uh, talk about this. I guess we can talk about it now. Uh, we got a couple new things for, for the channel, because I got some time to work on stuff. Uh, first off, we got new alerts. There, there's now, there's now new sub alerts, as well as, uh, gift sub alerts. So, if anybody's interested in that, you can get new alerts. Also... Uh, remember, remember how I made that joke on my birthday, being like, if if we get a sub, I'll play all the 3D Sonic games. To celebrate yeah. getting new sub alerts, uh, I have another proposition. I will oh, not no. play. I won't play every 3D Sonic game, but if we can get at least one sub this stream, I will promise that. We will, at the very least, play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, because I will give them an honest playthrough. A, a true and honest playthrough. Because, you know, I, as much as I don't like Sonic, uh, yeah, I want to give it a fair chance. So many people like those games, it's like, I, I probably should, because, you know, I've only ever played Sonic Adventure 2, and I've only played the first level, and yes, I found a glitch that, you know, made it nearly unplayable, and I hated it. Uh, but you know, gotta give it, gotta give it an yeah, honest review. Yeah, give it a and fair also, chance. Also, uh, I definitely don't want it to happen so I can make Sonic 2 references the whole time. That's absolutely not the reason. Uh, so there you go. There's your proposition. Uh, you know, you get, you get new alerts. And also, if we get one sub, I promise I will play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. And we will play the PC versions because they are cheap. Uh, as, well, yes, my local game store does, in fact, have both Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on GameCube. Uh, they are over $200 each. Yeah, so I might as well as to buy them off, uh, Steam than to just basically give an arm and a leg to play yeah, those. Yeah, especially because, you know, I gotta, I gotta save up money because, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm moving this summer. And I finally, I realized, uh, I'm finally within budget of actually being able to live in a home not own a home but at least rent a home so i'm really gonna go for it this year 
Right. All it, all it took was getting rid of my insurance. Uh, it wasn't important. It, uh, insurance is important. I'm not saying it's not, but no, no. it's very important. It, it's very, it's very important. It's just I've had insurance <laughs> since Jokes. I've been 18, and I've never used it. So it's like you know, while I while I go through school, I'll ra I'd rather take the extra money, because like the trade off with my new schedule is like okay, yes, I don't get insurance, but hey, I'm getting paid like. Twenty dollars an hour. Uh, that's enough money to be able to live in a home. So, uh, I'll take it. Right. Especially because you know I'll, I will be going into a new career by the end of the year. So it's like, yeah, you know what? I can sacrifice not having insurance for eight months. Who? So it. Yeah. So uh, I gotta save up money. Right. Uh, I do want to bring up one thing. Yeah. Uh, when you brought up uh, streaming the whole uh, thing of the, the whole all the 3D Sonic games. Hold on, we've been disconnected from the server. Anyways, continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I everything went quiet and I got scared. That's no, fine. Uh, shit happens all the time. Oh yeah. But anyways, uh, when you said that. Yes, I was tempted, but I then started thinking, and yeah, I came to the conclusion that I wouldn't want to torture you that badly. Yeah, every Sonic game, every 3D Sonic game is a bit much. I think Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 is reasonable. Yeah. And then... At some, at some point, we do need to finish Sonic 06. Like, that, that is a necessity. Eek, Sonic. Alright, we've done two quests so far. What is quest number three? Defeat whoever the fuck. Uh. Okay, we have to fight a. We gotta fight a unique monster, apparently. And it's it. It's apparent. Its appearance is rare. Anyway, sorry, I cut you off. I'm, I'm sorry. No, you're that fine. Was, that no, you're was fine. A dick move. It, it happens. Wait, what, was there anything you were going to add to that? Oh, what I was going to add was, now that you at least shrunk it down to that, it is manageable. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, take care of yourself. Don't spend money on my garbage-ass channel. Don't underestimate them. Oh, oh this, is really fun. this is going to be fun. You always got to have stuff for... Monster. So... Yeah, so I'm not I'm not doing this like please give me money. I want to live in a home. Like I I have a job for a reason. I require money. It's just yeah, something fun. I, if you want to do it, you know, you want I get made some helps fun the, alerts. It, it it helps the channel, but at the same time, it's all entirely optional. Exactly. All right. I'm like getting a scaled apparently. Well, you know what? We're working on that. You know, honest, honest and true work here. How the fuck did this enemy go? Why did you go all the way over there? You fucked up my overdrive. Okay, well, that didn't really work out well. Okay, 5400 damage, not the worst thing ever. You know, admittedly, we're actually not doing too bad. 50%. It's probably gonna go berserk, isn't it? I, I don't oh, remember what it's called. Enraged? Oh, it flinched! Who the hell flinched it? Our team has flinch? Okay. I just thought we had a shit ton of stagger. I'll take it. Good job, Lau. Lau oh, Lau's the one with the topple. Alright, we're keeping you on the team, Lau. You actually have a topple art, and you use it. Unlike someone! Lin. Oh yeah, also, uh, I, I forgot to talk about this. We we have a new uh, channel point redemption. Uh, it's it's a lot. God it's a damn! Lot of, yeah, it's a lot of points. Don't worry, I'm, I'm aware. I actually had it higher than that before, and then I realized, oh, that's too high. Uh, yeah, so 
for 50,000 points, you can force me at any at that moment to to stop what I'm doing and do like a five minute sketch. Uh, but you got to make sure to give me a topic, otherwise I'm just gonna go off on a tangent, and we don't want that. It's gonna start drawing the lines. Yeah. It is yeah. Uh, not not curved or anything, not connecting, just really straight lines. Also, please keep it safe for work. Uh, I don't want to get banned on Twitch. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. But yeah, I figured that'd be fun, you know. So that I, I, I've got the tablet ready at any moment. Someone, I was trying to come up with a fun name for it, and I had a fun name, and then I forgot it. Draw it. So if, if anybody's got a fun name for the, the draw idea, uh, go for it. Also, we are actually half, or not quite halfway. We're almost halfway done with the scale stuff. Obtain the solar starship map in Noctilum's Humdrum Peaks. Hey, Twitch. Which what was Twitch? weird. What was Twitch Couldn't, doing? Uh, apparent, apparently decided to play an ad through already being muted and scared the, the hell out of me. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought it was on an alert from your end, so I'm just like, oh, what's happening? What's happening? What is with this soft jazz? And then I'm like, wait, as much that, as I would love a soft jazz alert, uh, we do not have that. Yeah, because I, I like the what get, tips it off that it wasn't you. It's just like you were still going on like all is normal, nothing's happening, and then I'm just, I'm just like, wait, so that wasn't. What was that? I look and yep, Twitch. She's an ad blocker. Yeah, considering the fact that I don't really watch many things on my. I, I was gonna say, life. like, technically I get paid when you watch the ads, but just get an ad blocker, it's fine. I don't... I don't deserve that money anyways. My, my comedy does not deserve pay. Anyways, <laughs> where the hell is this damn map? Who's losing their map out in the jungle? This is unrealistic. And damn it, Tarzan. <laughs> I play, I play Xenoblade. Oh, hi, sir. Why are you getting angry? I'm double your level. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'll fight you. I may be double your level. Okay, not quite, but I'll... No, not... Why am I locked onto the other one? Lock onto you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kick your ass. I wanna... I wanna kick your ass, okay? Okay. Wrong. I did the wrong voice for the wrong character, but it's fine. Ha! Part, you missed. I, it was part uh, Hank Hill, part. Everyone Hill. else is fighting the other one, and I'm fighting the unique monster. <laughs> oh, you guys are doing good over there. Just you, you're doing good. Just keep keep it up back there. Oh, I'll fight the keep it up. Proud of you. Oh, uh, I'll fight the strong one. I'll fight the one that's actually going to one that might give me actually a challenge. Hurt a, yeah, the one that might actually hurt me. Even though it has not been able to hurt me so far. And I just boosted my evasion, so you know. Yeah, I don't think this thing is going to lay a single hit on me. I will be surprised if it does. Yeah, yeah, it's it's missing every attack because you know, in Xenoblade, the higher level you are, uh, the harder it is for your opponent to hit you. Like I'm probably gonna Makes get like, no experience from this. I at this point, I'm just waiting for it to actually hit me. If it will. Oh, I think they killed the other one. You just start oh, yeah. dancing. In yeah, front they of killed it. the other one. I am surprised the game gave that to me. Yo, fuck it. Let's go balls of the wall. Let's go overdrive, baby. You know, because this, this wasn't dumb enough. Little, little, little. Wow, is this actually a real... Wow. I mean, we didn't do much damage because these things are... have sh shit ton defense. 
but uh, I think that was the longest duration of overdrive we had. I still have a third of my uh, max TP left over. Yeah, this fight should not be as long as it is, but these enemies just have a ton of defense, so nothing, nothing new. It still has not hit us. Oh, nope, there it did. Got us. It did it. Finally hit us. Round goddamn time. I could just be a, I could just be a dick and immediately get my health back using an aura, but I won't. This time. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, never mind. Somebody else gave me my health back. I think it was Lau. I will admit, I think Xenoblade 2 did the whole party heal mechanic better than this game. Oh, we gotta go down there. Oh, we gotta go down here. This is where we need to be. Oh, hello. Crabs! And we did it! We are now officially halfway through getting our skill. Yeah. Oh, piss off! I don't want to deal with crabs today! Lau, we don't want to know how much you like crabs. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> should I go overdrive? Oh no. Should, no. We, should, should we just end this already? Why did I use a TP move when I have max TP? The thing's almost dead. It's not... Uh, oh good, you're enraged. That's cool. Dude, who got flung? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, so I just see one of our party members just go flying. Oh. Me. I, I've realized that's one of my favorite things ever that will always make me laugh. Just, you know, in the middle of a fight and all of a sudden someone just goes flying. I love it. I don't I don't know why it makes me laugh so much. I don't know. It, it just brings, like, a sh like pure joy. Oh, this quest. Yeah, so we're almost done with this one. You just gotta collect one item. Does it tell me where the items are? No, of course it doesn't, because this is a Xenoblade game. Fetch quests are shit in this series. I will I will die on that hill. If there's one thing that Xenoblade can never get right, it's fetch quests. They always suck. Alright, we need one more squash. I one up that and say a lot of fetch quests are suck. Yeah, but like, at least... Oh shit, did I turn on- Oh, I accidentally turned on Google. Uh, go shut up, Google! No, I want it. Oh my god. Shut up! No, get out of here, Google! God! Not Google. I forgot. The, the, new, the new tablet setup has its quirks, and I'm still trying to figure out the quirks. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, don't worry, because if I- I've had many a time where I'm sitting here, you know, watching YouTube, and then mine just decides to, uh, go off randomly. Well, it was, I didn't know that hitting the Windows button on my Android tablet, don't question it, uh, would activate Google if the, uh, tablet was on, because I forget that my tablet's on, because normally when we do Xenoblade X streams, I just have it open. But it's like the tablet's off, so if I need to go to the Xenoblade wiki, I just hit the Windows key to turn on the tablet. Um, but because I need to have the tablet on and connected to my computer in case like an art thing gets redeemed, uh, I forget that it's on even if the screen is off. Yeah, I know how that is. So I turn, I hit the Windows key, and it's it Google's like, I'm listening. Yes. Oh, Did yes. you call me? Okay, so the squashes can be found. Lake Basil. Oh, cool. And then, oh, yeah. northeastern part of Bolivia. I like Basil. Wait, they're in Oblivia? Oh, I, okay, cool. I guess we gotta go to the desert. 
Ah, oh, shit. Where's the... Oh! Okay, northeast. Oh. Ah. I gotta go to... Where do uh, I go? I don't... Uh, I don't like this game's map. Alright, where's Lake Basil? Oh wait, no, we've been there. Oh, I know where that is. Hold on, we we have a we have a thing. We have a a a, a thing there. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Neat. We have a fast travel. Thank God. I I got you, fam. All right, I need a squash. Or you know, could fight a dancing bird. Dancing birds. Little bitch. Fuck it. Let's go overdrive right off the bat. Let's do it. Go go balls to the wall. Go absolutely livid. That was highly effective. We did eleven thousand damage. That was the best overdrive we ever had. Alright, that was effective. Oh, I forgot. That level 31 enemy's there. Why did that bird have a gun? <laughs> Sometimes bird needs self-defense. Not enough. <laughs> Just imagine that, that that bird's dancing, and then when it sees it, it's like, call an ambulance, but not for me. Surprise, bitch. <laughs> All right, where the hell is it? Give me your oh, money. Piss <laughs> off. Somebody fix this. <laughs> wow, don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. The bird's got a gun. It's like that one Hellboy comic panel. You know the one I'm talking about, right? Uh, not really. Never really. Where they're, where they're like, is that is that so and so? And then Hellboy, it's, he's got a gun. <laughs> I know people turn it into a meme. Elma, we're fine. We don't. We. I'll use the aura just for the, you know, just for the health. But we're fine. The bird's almost dead. We staggered it. It's toppled. Don't worry. We're good. We're fine. I I have looked at the picture. Oh, you found it. Yeah, it was a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it even better. <laughs> Is that a monkey? It's got a gun! <laughs> that, that makes it even better. Oh, that reminds <laughs> me. I saw someone made a Kingdom Hearts 3 mod where they replaced Donald's staff with a gun. Oh, I have seen that too. I need that mod. Maybe if, you know, maybe if they ever put Kingdom Hearts on sale on the PC store, I'll, I'll double dip and get Kingdom Hearts 3 on PC. You know, it'd, be it'd be nice to play it in 4K for the stream. Uh, 4K. 4K! That one has to have 4K. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be pissed. If, if it doesn't, I'm gonna be mad. I can look. But first, I found a better, I found picture. I'm posting it on the Discord. It is of that same meme, but better. Oh my god, there are so many enemies here that are just... They're really starting to peeve me! You're really starting to, uh, grind my gears. You're really, you're really grinding my gears. You're, you're grinding my gears. I... Wait, we actually toppled it before it made us flinch? Alright, that was cool. You know what? I literally just used one, Elma! God damn it! This game, I swear. Oh, good. Oh, good. You flinched. You made me flinch. Good. Oh, that's fine. So how do you- how does something make you flinch while you're in midair? Alright, fuck it. Let's do it. Overdrive. Just wow, because you're not, you almost Just dead? because you're not on the ground doesn't mean you still can't flinch. I find that hard to believe. Wow is dead! How did he die? It was the monkey. We're not fighting a monkey. <laughs> Sniper monkey. Sniper monkey. 
<laughs> Is there a streamer that has that as a joke? I've only heard it from one streamer. I, I heard his... it on a I heard it on a Tom Fox stream. Oh, then I think it, yeah, it's the same one that I'm thinking of. Uh, Chilled Chaos. Yeah. All I know from Chilled Chaos is he fucks with Lukagen by having a VTuber model that's just Peter Griffin, but, <laughs> but he's wearing Lukagen's clothes. And he's got like the yes. horse ears and Lukagen's hair. You know, that sounds something, something that Chilled would do. <laughs> he just fucks with Luca by having that. She hates it so much. Oh, that sounds like something Chilled would do. I love it. And it's 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 modeled very poorly, so it it's, it makes the weirdest facial expressions. Oh god! I gotta see that. I it's I I think Luca recently uploaded uh, like a, a Twitch compilation on her channel that had it. So I think it's ah. like her most recent one. I still oh, I still think my way. favorite outfit Luca ever made was the one where she just put googly eyes on a bikini. <laughs> still still my favorite outfit she ever did. Right. Also, uh, to answer your question about uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, yes, it does support 4K. Okay, good. Now I can destroy my graphics card with a 4K rack. You don't need to be mean to Donald. <laughs> what are you talking about? I was gonna play Dragon Ball Fighters. That game has. Ah, rats. right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that game has a, that game has a rat. You're right. Mm -hmm. As a pole. Where the hell is the squash? I don't want cabbage. Where is all this? All this damn squash. Where is all this, where, all this cabbage coming from? Oh, okay, good. Uh, I, I I looked it up. Apparently, the squash is in the water. We just gotta we just gotta swim uh, around. Yeah. You know, this actually reminds me of a of like a lake in Utah, but I can't remember which one. Cause it's been a while since I've been out boating. It's been a while since I've been outside. Yeah, <laughs> that's also also very real. Oh, so um, I <laughs> you are gonna. You are gonna. You, you're probably gonna think I'm the dumbest person alive, but uh, I, I, I wanted to share a character I made up while I was at work the other day. Um, I had I had an idea for like, you know, like those as seen on TV ads, yeah, like, like flex tape and stuff. Flex tape, I, yes. I I had an idea for a, a character like a like a. TV salesman named uh, Ted Fuckett, and and the whole thing that he he does is he he sells, uh, he he tries to sell you on products that are not intended the way that they should, and as a result, uh, everything he sells always results in someone dying. And like the like the ad. Okay, here here's an idea for an ad. Uh, cause I can tell I'm not selling you on this. Uh, like, no. like, 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 okay, no, let, let, let's say, okay, you got, you got a guy, he's like, you know, he's, he's like, he's outside in his yard, you know, just hanging out on his porch, and then all of a sudden, like, his neighbor's walking, his dog, and, and the, the, the dog, like, pees on the guy's lawn, and he's like, ah, oh, damn it, my neighbor's dog's peeing on my lawn again, and, and, then, and the neighbor's just like, oops, sorry, and then, uh, Ted Fuckett comes in, and he's like, has this ever happened to you? Ha. Ah. I'm Ted Fuckett, and I'm here to I'm here to solve your problem of the of, of the your neighbor's uh, dog. I call it the the de neighborizer. He just hands him like an RPG. He's like hand hand this to your hand this you know, aim this at your neighbor, and all of a sudden our dog will be gone. <laughs> he just, like he just blows up the guy's house. He's like, oh god, what have I done? And he's like, there you go, problem solved. He's like, why would you do this? He's like. Cause fuck it, why not? <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Ha! Huh. 
I'm Ted Bucket. That and, like, and the I whole would like to introduce to you our newest line of products. Yeah, and like the the <laughs> joke is the slogan for all of his products is "Cause fuck it, why not?" Like, hi, I'm Ted Bucket. Today, I would like to introduce to you the Denaborizer. Now, what does this amazing product do for you? Well, it's simple. Just aim the denaborizer at those annoying neighbors that you also can't stand. And with one pull of the trigger, poof, they're gone like magic. <laughs> so you just see in the background as he's saying this, like someone's house blows up. That's these fine folk. Just, just ask these all so satisfied customers. I and like the the joke is that like every 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 ad gets worse to the point that it like there's like a story behind it where like the cops are after him and then it ends with like him finally getting arrested and he's in the interrogation office and uh, they're they're like trying to interrogate him like why have you murdered all these people what's wrong with you and he's like he's like ever been in a, in a situation that you, you <laughs> ever didn't been like? in a situation like this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi, <laughs> ever I'm Ted bucket and they're just like oh god what's he doing and he's like <laughs> and he's like I'm here to sell you my new product the the get out of jail card and he like holds up a remote with a button on it and he pre he's like well press a button and <laughs> all of a sudden you hear like outside in like the city there's like giant like nuke alarms like <laughs> <laughs> Please go to your your nearest uh, nuclear bomb shelter, and they're just like, "Oh shit, what has he done?" <laughs> He's like, "One press of a button, and you're you'll you get out of jail real quick." And then like the next shot is him walking away from the city, and he's like, "There you go, get out of any situation scot free." And as he says that, like you just see this the mushroom cloud in the city. <laughs> oh, I love it. And he's like, and why would you need a product like this? Cause fuck it, why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I love it. It's I I, 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 was I love it. I was just thinking about it at work. I'm like, this is so dumb. I have to I have to share but it. But why does it why is it so good? Cause fuck it, why not? <laughs> I like how yours kinda has like that like like calm demeanor. I just gave yeah, mine a southern no, accent. <laughs> well, no, that's that's the joke. Is like he's just he's literally trying to sell you the product, but it's like he's just a psychotic murderer. <laughs> he's frontier. Why would you ever food. need something like this? Cause fuck it. Oh shit! Use frontier nav to earn over fifteen thousand credits in a single return. How the hell do I do that? Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Where are we out on time? Eh, we'll, we'll wait a little break, a little bit before we... No break. Yeah. I'm sure Reddit's figured this out. Oh yeah, right there. Just found it. Xenoblade X, 15,000 credits. Oh, game facts, even better. The most reliable. Oh, putting miner mining probes will lower your revenue research probes. Uh, research probes will increase the revenue. Also, if you are out of research probes, I recommend finding more probes. Another land. Okay, so we just got to do more research probes. And I have more mining probes right now because we're trying to get meranium. Also, speaking of meranium, we are maxed out on that shit. So we need to go. We need to go turn it in. Invest in our our properties. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's Hi, so I'm Ted Fuck it. <laughs> I love it. Ever thought to yourself that you wanted to have a good time with your friends? Might I introduce you to the roulette? You just hand them a freaking revolver. <laughs> Pass it. Put, put, a, put a single bullet in there. Spin the spin the the chamber put our, and it's put and our, one of your friends pull the trigger lucky winner put, gets put a our bullet. patent pending uh roulette <laughs> roulette pellets into the spinning bullet or the sp the spinning cylinder and have a blast 
<laughs> Jokes on them. Every every fucking chamber's filled. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, then they. It's like it's like Nagito and Deng and Rapa, where he just he just he like y you remember that? Or I was gonna say you probably haven't seen anything on Deng and Rapa too, right? I've never seen anything on Dang and Rampa uh, at all. There, there's a part in Dang and Rampa 2 where they ha where Nagito has to play Russian roulette to pass a test. And uh, so they're like, okay, just put one bullet in there and spin the chamber and, and pull the trigger. And Nagito's like, but what if I just take one bullet out and leave five in there and then spin it? And they're like, you don't need to do that. You you will probably die. And he's like, that's nah, fine. Like, you're making this harder on yourself, Nagito. You could just put one bullet in there. It's fine. He's like, nah, it's okay. It's just... That's actually where I get the uh, the gif of him, like, putting the gun to his head. Ah. Thank God I need to play Danganronpa on the channel. Especially because there is, like, a Mario Party type board game on the Switch version. Right. So I'm like, ooh, that has online. Just play Danganronpa Mario Party. Also, don't mind me. I have to uh, change my probes, and no one will be able to see because I do not have a gamepad uh, capture card. Don't worry. I have to change my probes, and nobody will know because nobody will see. Exactly. All right. So apparently, uh, we have to change it to research probes in order to get our credits up. So, I'm just going to change all of these to research probes. Well, apparently we're already at 10,000. I don't, I don't know how that's possible, but uh, apparently... Shit, okay, so we have 11,000 now. I wonder, does mining probes get rid of... Oh, if I do like a duplicator, what if I do a duplicator here? Yeah, I know this is such riveting uh, content right here. I'm, I'm duplicator. sure. Duplicator. Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm researching. Gotta get, gotta get them boops. Shit! I accidentally fast traveled. Oops. Hold on. I pressed the. But the dupes. Uh, what if I? Nope. That that lowers it everywhere. That doesn't do anything. That don't okay. work. Yeah, uh, this is what's great about the, the Wii U is, you know, gamepad. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go, I gotta go to Noctilum, because that connects. Alright. Wow, um, I have done nothing in Noctilum. Well, that'll help a lot, actually. Okay, what if I do a duplicate probe? Duplicator probe. Nope, that lowers everything. That also lowers everything. Well, shit, I'm out of research probes. What if I do a... No, mining probes. Oh, wait, but what if I get rid of some mining probes? Will that help? Probably. I don't... Because from what I, I read, if you... Oh, yeah, no, it does. Just completely getting rid of mining probes does help. Not much, but... It helps. So then... Does that give me more research probes? How do I get more research probes? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because I have one right here. That'll lower it by 600. But guess what? If I, ex if I put it here... If I extend it! <laughs> that'll... That'll make it better. Actually, I wonder. That'll work it. What if I put a, a probe uh Man, the thing is, like this shit is hard. It's too hard. Cause it, the, okay, so ah. for context for those who have no idea what I'm doing, um every every warp point you have, which are the big glowy things that I'm sitting in front of. Um, those are probes, and on the gamepad, you can install specific probe types to, uh, to mine specific resources. So, like, part of the reason why we get Meranium so quickly is because I have so many mining probes getting it. Like, each, 
each return on investment is like 11,000 Moranium, and we can only hold 15,000 at a time. Um, so, but one of the side quests we need to do in order to get the scales is we have to install specific types of probes in a way that we will get like 15,000 credits in one return. So it's all about lining ones up that are next to each other in order to get a chain reaction. Right. It's, uh... And also, just the more probes you have, the better. So, worst case scenario, we could just, um... Go to, like, some areas we haven't been to before. Like, we could go explore Silvalum. As dumb as that may be, uh, or, you know, that would be, we could go explore that, get some fast travel points, and, uh... And, and, uh, get some more probes. Okay, that's not a good spot. Duplicator bro. Holy shit! What happened? Okay, so, uh, yeah, I figured out the secret. Um... Yeah, our next- our next revenue total is going to be, uh, almost 17,000. Oh. So, uh, that was easy! <laughs> that quest is done, we just gotta wait for, uh, our- our return on investment. Cool. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, it, I just- there were four, uh, probes all, like, linked up to one another in Primordia. And I just had them all as research probes, and then I have one as a duplicator. Yeah, that duplicator boosted it by like 5,000. So, uh... Yeah, that's, uh, that's... Uh, proficiency exam 6 is done. Get the examination weapon from Taller on the division drive in the administrative district. Okay, apparently we just need to go get a weapon. I don't remember these quests being so easy. This is... They're probably gonna make us, like, buy our skill. Given how easy these quests have been, I mean, we're like we're we're an hour and a half into the stream, and you know we've already completed chapter six. We're almost done getting our scale. We're actually making progress. This is scaring me. You don't make progress in a Xenoblade game. You no you no 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 no, that's not the case. Because I know some people make progress in a Xenoblade game. You don't make progress in Xenoblade X. Yeah, fair point. God, imagine if we were trying to go for 100% on this right. game. Oh, we'd, we'd have to do, we'd have to do like online lobby stuff. I, I'd pray for your sanity. There's a reason why, like, so a lot of people were actually kind of upset that uh, Trigger Conroy, Emil, uh, replay, like, instead of doing Xenoblade X after Xenoblade One, he. Did, just skipped this game and did two. Um, right. And he talked. He's actually talked. He doesn't really like this game. Um, he doesn't hate it like, you know, Sticker Star. But he's he's kind of like, yeah, I don't really think X is the greatest game. Um, he has shown his notes for this this game. He has done research on this title, and it's like, I, I think he said it's like fifty pages. Why do I get the sneaky suspicion that all of them are practically like the ramblings of a serial killer? Oh no, that's his, uh, that's his, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star review. Yes, he has actually written that. He has a script for that. <laughs> he, w he was planning on making a video at one point talking about how much he hates that game. And he's like, yeah, nobody wants to hear me rant about a game that I hate for 30 minutes. Boy, was he wrong, because, uh, <laughs> there is currently 14 hours of footage of him ranting about Paper Mario Sticker Star, and, uh, there is going to be another seven hours more of it at some point this year, and I am also looking forward to it. <laughs> Seriously, some of my favorite streams to watch are just the ones with Proton John and Emil playing Paper Mario Sticker Star, and it's so funny because this year, uh, they hit that donation goal for them to continue that series very quickly. Emil was the one that actually helped them achieve that. Uh, He's during, wanting it too. During Fortune Cookie, well, it was unintentional because during during uh, Fortune Cookie, 
he uh, donated a thousand dollars for Proton John to play Xenoblade. And then immediately after donating that, like the the uh, notification went up on stream, like we achieved our goal. Emil has to play more Paper Mario, and then you just hear Emil yell, "I got our my own incentive!" <laughs> They're like, "Good job, Emil. You played yourself." <laughs> Congratulations, you fucked yourself. Oh, I love it. God, I I I would love to have like a group of to be a part of a group of creators like. Guys. It's a super wholesome group of YouTubers Still having a good time. Oh yeah. Great. Why? Why can't I what? have that? Just kidding. I already have it. I was gonna say I have my friends right here. Yeah, I was like before you said that I was gonna say yep, but instead you got me. <laughs> No, that that's the point. I have you and that's I have it right here. Yay. We just need to start doing charity streams. I would Oh god. Oh man. All right, hold on. You know, what Can we can we try to make that a thing? Can we try to like like do an annual like meet up and we do like a fun charity stream? I don't care if we earn no money. I just want an excuse to meet my friends every year. Can we do that? It would have to depend on, on what time. Yeah, I don't. I definitely not this year because uh, you know I'm, I'm well, moving for and sure. I also have school and I, it's so funny. I uh, got my old fans for oh, shit. Yeah, you've got stuff which actually ties into what I was gonna segue to. Uh, so I I was looking at my schedule for school and I realized Oh, there's actually a like a, a break. We get like a week break uh, over the summer for the Fourth of July. So I was like, oh, I get a week off school. If I maybe I should take that week off work and like go on a road trip. So I was actually planning <laughs> on like messaging you, being like, Yo, can we meet up on the fourth and like do things? That'd be cool, cause like I'll be off school and this and that. And then I realized, oh wait, I'm probably going to be moving around that time because my lease for my apartment's up in like July, August. So I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Right. And then you messaged me the other day being like, oh, hey, uh, I'm going to be going to another country in like June, I, July. I'm I am going to be out of states. So I'm like, oh, okay. I, I, I won't be back until the 17th. Yeah. So I was like, wow, like every... Society's just saying, or life's just saying no to everything on that. Because, like, not only are you busy, but I'm also busy, so it's like, yeah, I'll just use that week to move. It begins. I just God. thought that was, I just thought that was very, very fun timing. It's funny. It, it's fun time. Um, also, on the topic of you, you know, going to another country for a month and a half, I'm gonna miss you, man. I know. Who's gonna be here when I stream? Uh. Who is always gonna be here for me? Who am I gonna talk to? Yeah, what am I? I figured we'd win. I got I got little sword here. <laughs> You're like a clone of yourself. <laughs> Nah, just a, a little stat too. You just like, you're just like, I got a little plush of myself. He'll, he'll <laughs> take my place. <laughs> just like, just like, like, has some, like, general comments or something. I just don't realize I'm supposed to be killing these enemies with specific weapons. Oh. I was wondering why my, uh, why, why it wasn't counting these as actual kills. Why do... Why do you die, but not die? Fandom, I'm killing the things you told me to kill, but why aren't I getting the credit? All right, I guess I gotta, okay, so I gotta use the trial knife, the trial assault rifle, and the trial sword. Don't even know if I'm the all right that. class to use those items, but we'll I was do gonna it say, anyways. all that just sounds bad. Yeah, it's probably like beginner weapons. Oh, I actually do have the items. Cool. Uh, yes. I. Uh, oh, that's actually a cool sword. 
And it, it has better stats than my current weapon. Wow. It kind of looks like a butterfly knife. Just a really big one. With an actual handle. Alright, cool. So, uh, what class do I need to be to use that sword? So... We gotta change our class. Good thing it's easy to do that. Uh... Okay, so it looks like we have to be striker. What arts do we get for this? Probably should have checked that, but it's fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So now we can use the sword. Who needs, who needs knowledge in that card? Alright, so we also need the trial... Assault Rifle, which thankfully we can use that in this class. Oh, balls the trial the sword. Cool. Alright, uh... Let's look. Let's see what arts do we get for this class. Because it, it, may, it may be good to move to a different class once we max out our current class. Right. I, I never did that in my personal playthrough when the game came out. I just was like, I just want these arts. I don't want to change it. Ooh, we get... Okay, so we get, for this class, we get Rising Blade. Every time I think of a, a move name like that, I just think of a Soul Bad Guys move. Oh, like Volcanic Viper? Yeah. Yeah, because it's just a, it's just like a, it, it's literally just a Shoryuken, but with a sword. Exactly. Damn, what a Shoto. Doesn't even have a Tatsu. Imagine, imagine Soul Bad Guy if he had a Tatsu. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine Soul Bad Guy just like spinning around. Ooh, okay, so Infuriate inflicts Taunt to draw target attacks. And then Rising Blade does more damage when you are taunted. Okay. This physical damage. Okay, so Ooh, that works well, it's a top alert. Okay. Deals thermal damage. Okay, so th you know what? This might actually work really well with our team because now we have the top alert. Granted, the reason why our team worked so well before was because I had a million and one stagger art, so I could get us to like staggers five. Problem is, our partners just never use top alerts. Alright, well, well. <laughs> it's fine. Elma's, Elma has, she has the same arts uh, I had uh, in the previous class, so we're good. Elma can handle it. Elma can get our stagger. Uh, we just need to do the toppling. I guess I'll just fast travel here so we can reset enemies. I don't remember if that's how this game works. I'm gonna say yes. All right, let's go kill some enemies with our giant uh, butter knife. It, it's it's yellow because it's still got some leftover butter on it. This is just that a uh, thousand degree fucking heated knife. <laughs> God, remember when those videos were just super popular on the internet? But they were just all over the place. I think my favorite is still the uh, the H three H three one. I've seen that one. Oh, that was back when you know Ethan Klein was actually funny. Um, ah. He did it with iDubs, and like they set off, they, they turned on so many propane heaters to heat up a knife. They started, they smoked out their own kitchen, and like the fire alarms start going off. And Ela's like, guys, this is actually kind of a bad idea. Maybe we should, maybe we should not do this. And they're Whoa. like, you're just a hater. <laughs> You don't, you don't get it. You're just a hater. More. It's so funny. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, seeing a sword, which is a giant sword, is very fitting. So you know, maybe, maybe if there's like a Monado type sword, this might actually be a good class for her. But I don't know about a soul using a rifle. That's that's not really her thing. I'm sorry. I'm going into lore and my dumb OC. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Overdrive. All right, that was cool. St wow, that topple. I wasn't even expecting to topple him there, but I did. All right, that was fucking cool. 
<laughs> Alright, that was awesome. How much damage did that do? Alright, 47 armor, not bad, not bad. You know, we are killing these enemies a lot quicker than I would like to admit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, even though we don't have many arts, because we're very low level on this class, uh, it's kind of fun. These arts are kind of fun. <laughs> they, oh the, no. <laughs> I, I like having the topple art, I really do, because the thing is, one of the issues are with our previous uh, team is that Elma and Asul are the exact same class, so they have the exact same art, so it's like you're not, you're not benefiting from that. Right. And considering that Elma is, admittedly, the protagonist of this game, you're gonna have her in your party all the time. So unless right. you're just an idiot like me, and you just really like those arts, it, there's not really a benefit to being a, a Full Metal Jaguar. Other than you really like having dual guns and dual swords. So someone like me got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, it's, I, I, I'm genuinely enjoying it because you know, basically, a school being Dante. Right. I mean, I, I have. Didn't I talk about the time that I, ori I originally designed a soul to have two swords? You did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that was an original concept. <laughs> But I turned I turned it down because I I wanted I wanted the swords to be cooler. And the only thing I can think of when in terms of making a sword cool is just making it the Monado. There's a, always can make uh, make it your own in a lot of ways. That was unintentional, but sure I'll take it. All right, you're staggered. Let's topple him. Forget, I actually forgot I have the topple art. The thing now. I am the toppler. <laughs> Why did I say that? I'm the toppler. Sounds like a rejected Batman villain. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Batman, for I'm the toppler. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you do? I topple people. <laughs> he just like trips them. <laughs> As he like Shit, runs, the toppler. Watch runs your ankles. <laughs> no, like he trips someone and then runs away. Just yeah. Watch your ankles, Robin. It's the toppler. Yeah, <laughs> gotta watch Batman? for those trip wires, Batman. Wait, what? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right, we actually have one quest left. And we have to do three other side quests in order to complete this quest. Good. Uh, uh. All right. So we have to do the handyman on the pipsqueak, and that's incredible. We have that's incredible. Apparently, we already have that one accepted. Uh, handyman on. Wow, we already have two out of the three already accepted. All right, cool. We'll do. That's incredible. We have to go to the man on ship. I don't remember how to do that. Because I only remember how to do it with the skell. Because if you have the uh -oh. skell, you can just fly to it. But I don't remember how to... Oh, shit. All right. Well, nope. anyways, I'm going to go... I swear there's like a... Well, so it's a... So the man on ship is like a spaceship that flies above NLA. It's like right. its own shopping district. Uh, I think there's like a teleporter you can go to, but I don't remember. Also, I'm gonna change my class because I like my I like the other one. We'll we'll ch we'll permanently change our class once we get Full Metal Jacket to level ten. There we go. Well, for now, we'll we'll wait. Yeah, because like I I have no warp points to the man on ship because you know. I, I swear it's like right in front of the blade tower. I could be wrong. I may have to Google it. I actually don't remember. <laughs> uh, uh. I think the transport 
I think these planes will take I would you. Assume. Yeah, the, the I was going to say, I... Sorry, I, I cut you off. I, I was just going to say it would make sense for the transport to take you. Nope! Never mind! Yeah, because they take you to the other parts of NLA, but it's like, it's just fast travel. Does this take me there? No? Can I steal it? What was this? Thingy. Okay, cool. I swear... Was it, was it gossip? Like, yeah, that that's one of the things you gotta do, is you gotta get gossip from the locals. Maybe I talk Ew. to Stella? Sir. Uh, no. Sir. Tell me, tell me the hot gossip. Okay, cool. Thanks, bye. Oh my god, Bradley did that? Oh no. Okay, bye. Hold on, I'll Google it. I just, I just said a random name. <laughs> don't, don't think I'm... <laughs> oh my Bradley. Are you, are you, are you sharing the hot gossip? Apparently so. I don't even know a Bradley. Okay, uh, the man on ship is a region in Xenoblade X, the spaceship around- yes. There's a teleport in front of the blade tower in the administrator- yes! Okay, so there- oh! Oh my fu- I hate- What's up? You see that glowing green thing right fucking in front of me? Don't fucking tell me. Nah, that's the thing we gotta get on! Look at this! Ah! I ah. fucking hate my brain. <laughs> Welcome to the man on ship. Oh. All right, I think I'm having a bit of an aneurysm. Yeah, you, you, no, trust me. I no. Oh. <sighs> I, I will admit, I actually love the song that plays in, in this area. It's catchy. It, it, it gets better. I do like this song. Anyways, uh, cool. Dead, yes. Man on weapons. Eat. Okay, cool. Yep, mm hmm. Uh, so, so, so. It's your favorite part. Okay, yep, mm hmm, yep, mm hmm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's mm, crazy, mm, bro. Oh, interesting. Mm. Uh huh. Oh, you don't say. Flam what now? Oh, my God. Right. Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> what about flamboyance? Use diagonal twins. To Who's flan seven. and why are they buoyant? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Neat. The coin right. just fell. <laughs> yes, I get it, game. I don't have my skull yet. Did he give me? You the have your giant weapon? fighting robot. Did it give me? Did he give me the diagonal weapons? Can he give the weapon? Oh, maybe they're swords. Oh yeah, he did. Oh cool, and I can actually use the. Oh my god, that's awesome! God damn. Oh, that is my primary weapon now because it has better stats. <laughs> Those are swords. I approve. Dude, that's so cool. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. We gotta. There we go. Look at that. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> this is sick. All right, you know what? Xenoblade X might be a cool game after all. I am willing to say it still has its issues. Oh no, this game definitely has issues, but you know. Now just wait until we get the sailor uniform and we get the cat ears. Oh boy. Oh. Why do you <laughs> tempt me? <laughs> <laughs> Are you are you, are you implying that a soul would be more attractive if she was a cat girl? Let's see what you've got. Nah. Although, no, nah, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. She she can she can make that happen, you know. That 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 is a joke that I have between uh a soul and uh you know me. 
For context, you know me is the, okay. the, the, the cat girl OC of mine nobody cares about. Um, the the joke is that like you know me comes from a race that like their their whole shtick is they shapeshift and they right. think that like that's something only they can do. Like their evolution tree makes it so that they're the only race capable of doing it. And then Asul just like figures it out out of nowhere because you know God energy, she can do whatever she wants. Like this? <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh hey, that's cool, I can do that too. And they're just like, fuck you. <laughs> Just, this is the most elite of all techniques. You shall, it'll take it over a hundred years to yeah, master it. it, it like it's literally the Kamehameha with Goku and Roshi, <laughs> like OG Dragon Ball. No, the, fir the first thing I was like, thinking hey. of, the first thing I was thinking of was uh, DBZ a bridge with uh, Ginyu in his pose and Goku just immediately copies it. That's actually a thing that happens in Dragon Ball. Um, when Goku first learns the Kamehameha. Because he, he sees Roshi do it once, and he's like, wow, that's cool, I want to learn how to do it. And Roshi's like, hey, it took me 50 years to practice this. And then Goku like, blows up Bulma's car just doing it. And he's like, wow, I figured it out. Well, how about that? <laughs> so that, that that's Roshi just kind of sits have. there, <laughs> subfounded. <laughs> or like not, like, not even reacting. <laughs> it's funny, he's just sitting there like... You son of a bitch. And, and then I also I also have a joke uh, that goes in the opposite direction of that, where um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna share an idea that, admittedly, everyone that I've presented this idea to has hated, but I genuinely like it, so I keep it anyways. Um, so Asul and Avantasia both have like scale like robot mech suits. Um, but the the big thing about it is the mech suits can like turn into like small uh, robot versions of themselves. Because one of the things I always think about with mecha anime is like as cool as mechs are, the mechs are really big, not, so they can't really go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, so not not very viable for you know small time locations. Yeah, so I was like, oh man, wouldn't it be cool if like the Gundams could turn into like small like robots and they could like do their own thing? So I had the idea that their mechs have like an AI system that when they turn into the small versions, like their their artillery is not as big, but like they can control themselves and they have like their own AI system, and the AI right. system replicates both Asul and Avantasia when they were kids. So, like, the small robot versions are just, like, kid versions of Asul and Avantasia. Um, and I always found that to be really interesting writing-wise because it's, like, it, it kind of plays on the idea of, um, like, even, like, a cloning. So if you have a clone of yourself, the clone is going to be different than how you are because the clone is going to be thrown into situations that you haven't been thrown into in life and as a result their mental state's going to change. I liked that idea with the like the little robot versions of the two characters because it's like well yes they are kid versions of the the two characters. Um, they're eventually going to grow and evolve and to be their own people because they've been put in different situations at different ages as a soul and Avantasia have. Right. Plus, you know, it's it's funny because you always have people being like, oh, if only I could see younger me and I could tell, you know, my younger self to not make these mistakes. It, it also plays into that idea. Because right. a soul and Avantasia will do that where they'll be like, you know, don't do this thing. It's really stupid. I, you know, like listen to me because I'm an older you and then they realize like wait I'm talking to an AI <laughs> don't do this because it's very stupid okay me wait a minute yeah anyways I, I always present that idea to people and they they hate it well anyways I, I haven't gotten to the I haven't gotten to the joke yet I made a joke that um, there's like a time skip and one of the uh, characters that inspired I, I've named the, the like AI robots uh, Eagle Heart and Pantera, which right. I, I then shortened their names to M and T. Which I know some of you are like, how did you get the letter M from Eagle Heart? Uh, Eagle Heart is the name of a Souls Gundam, 
But then when Asul realizes there's like a miniature version of it, she calls it Eagle Heart Mini. So then its abbreviations M. would be EGM, but then she just calls it M. And then Pantera, it has a letter T, so just T. Um. Anyways, the joke is that the there's a time skip, and so the the AI get like bigger versions of themselves, like more adult versions uh, that are more powerful. Essentially, imagine like Mega Man to Mega Man X, or like Poppy Alpha to Poppy Cutie Pie. Like those are the direct inspirations. They just get like aged up versions of themselves that are stronger. Um, okay. And so Asul plays into the idea of like, well, yes, these are technically ourselves, uh, they're different people, like their AI functions differently. So she kind of takes into the idea of they are alternate realities of them. So she kind of gives them their own identities. And so when she gives M her upgrade, she gives her kind of like a poppy cutie pie look. And the joke, I know, I'm sorry, I'm, I over explain things. Uh, the joke is that everyone immediately realizes that M's adult version has bigger boobs than a soul. They're like, why? Why did you give her bigger boobs than you? And she's like, well, you know, I, 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 I thought it'd be, you know, interesting to see what I would look like with a larger bust. And then Avantasia just says, you're a god. You can change your body however you want. If you want bigger tits, just give yourself bigger tits. And she's like, well, yeah, but like, I gotta like conserve energy for that. And like, I could use that energy for other things. And you know, I just wanted to like <laughs> test it out. And just, so they're just like, I just get rid <laughs> of them if you don't like it. <laughs> the whole, so as far as I could see, the whole thing is, I want to see how I would look with bigger tits. Yeah, and then, so instead of, you know, just enlarging her bust because she can do that because she can shapeshift, she goes out of her way to, like, make the robot version of her have a larger bust. I feel like I killed the joke because I over-explained it, and I apologize. I Why are you watching this I, I, series? I am not a funny person. I think it's funny because of that kind of, like, reaction. And just thinking about like how she put too much, like so much energy into just building that upgrade instead of taking two seconds to just do it. I don't herself. know, pump some air into him. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> that. That is the joke. And even even M's just like, does this does this have any combative advantages? You're like, no, <laughs> you just look cooler. Like, okay. <laughs> does this have any sort of combat and like? Prowess. No, you just got bigger tits now. Oh, okay. That's cool. Great, neat. I can lie if I had that kind of capabilities, I'd do the same thing. Yeah, I, I was gonna say there. There's always the conversation of like, you know, if if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And most people are always like, I want to be able to fly. Mine's shape shifting. I would absolutely love oh. shape shifting. Mine's always been. Like a constant change. Uh, shape shifting was definitely on my list. Oh, well, I should say, still is on my list. Because just that whole concept to me is cool. Like, pro like even like to so far as like to just change like mu like small things like how your hand looks into different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it to me it plays into the creativity of being just being able to explore different things i feel like that would be fun no i i agree with you there shapeshifting has always been an interest like an interesting power to me uh, i swear i swear flame of corruption actually has a plot it's just me you know it's not just me writing dumb things with my characters Swear it has a plot. I, I mean, I've seen things that have plot, but they still manage to write dumb things with it. I, I'm writing plot. We all love plot. Nudge, there, nudge. There, there have been some, like... Uh, some of those, like, suggestive jokes and ideas that I'm just like, No, that's dumb. I don't want to do that. Right. 
Oh, okay, hold on. No, there, there's also one that I... Fuck it. God. Is this actually interesting? I swear. I'm interested. It's, okay, have I... Jeez. I think one of my favorite... Sorry, I just... I get self-conscious whenever I share my I'm ideas. I'm, I'm so used to people just being like, shut up, nobody cares. Um, when have I done that? I... I had an when idea. <laughs> Shut up, no, oh. I'm no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, go ahead. Um, so, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a little bit of spoiler territory, but, uh, basically, there's a plot point towards the end of Flame of Corruption where, uh, a Sewell goes through, like, a final training period, where, like, right. essentially she's training, she's training with Satan in order to get, like, her awakened form or whatever. And I won't say yeah. how or why, but Advantage is there with her. But due to plot reasons, uh, in order for Advantage to be there training with Asul, uh, she essentially had to sacrifice her afterlife. Because like the, the way that the afterlife works in this story is like your your mortal life is like a resume. Depending on what you do in your mortal life, that'll determine like what your afterlife will be. So, right. Avantasia could have lived a happy afterlife and been totally fine, but she sacrificed that in order to train with a soul in hell, and uh, when she goes there, Satan straight up tells her, like, you know, if you're gonna be down here, you have to suffer through your own personal hell, because, like, that's how hell is. Like, if you're there, you have to deal with, like, your own personal hell in order for you to have anguish and all that stuff and be miserable right you want to know what advantageous personal hell is oh god oh please tell me she becomes satan's second in command and the reason why that's her personal hell which I mean, granted considering that like she's there to help a soul train that's perfect because satan's training her so she's like great i get to help my sister train Problem is, because she's Satan's second in command, she's with him all the time. And Avantasia as a character, she is horny 100% of the time. That that Av Avantasia is a character that like you know the like the pervy character in anime. That is that is Avantasia. If it if it has a phallus, she wants to have intercourse with it. Like it does not matter. And to <laughs> Avantasia. The, the, just the concept of being able to walk up to someone and say, yeah, I fucked Satan, who cares, is like, that's like life goals for her. That is like, oh my god, I've, pe I've peaked. I cannot top that. So all she wants to do is fuck Satan, but here's the thing. And he says no. Satan is a loyal man. He's, he's oh. Satan. And he's very loyal to his, to his... Uh, to his wife, so he always rejects her. Well, it's just like pointing to his engagement ring, being like, "Sorry, bitch, I'm taken." And she's like, "I just want to fuck Satan." But her entire her entire afterlife is she has to be a second in command. Oh. And and Satan, the way I've written Satan is he's like you know you're you're he, he's like a family man type thing. He's he's like he only does it for the job. He's not. He's not, not like not spiteful. Not, yeah, he's not spiteful. Like, he's like, Satan because basically, it's a job. yeah, because because like the way that it works is like the gods that are higher in command were mortal at one point. The reason why they take on these tasks as gods is to repent for their sins. And like once they've okay. once they've uh, you know done a good enough job doing the thing that they're doing, they're then able to move up and get their perfect afterlife so satan when he was alive uh did such terrible things that they were like yeah in order to repent for your sins you literally have to be like the god of the underworld and work this many years in order for you to have your happy afterlife but also you know Sa satan's got a little you know he he's a little sadistic so he he plays into it a bit just, just a teaser, because, you know, she it does, does have, have to suffer. She does have to suffer. It is her own personal Yeah. Power. So, I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Why? I have to summon the power of your weapon. I should have customers dropping in. So, why don't you go ahead and hand... Oh. Oh, I have to de-equip the weapon. Shit, I actually liked it. 
Oh, fuck you too, game. It's fine. We'll probably buy it eventually. Right. Yeah, sorry. I talk about I talk about my dumb. I thought it was interesting. Day. No, no, I thought that was really interesting. It'll never, it'll never come out. I still like hearing about it. Because to me, it was interesting. Was it? Was it really? Yes. I mean, I, okay, hold on. Say that defeating one tough enemy is more impressive. Uh. Ooh, I oh, get to oh, control oh, the marketing oh. of this. Yeah, let's go for this. For a minute there, I thought you were like, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Say that again. No, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about flame of corruption because again, nobody, nobody wants to hear about my dumb comic. Oh, now we have to kill more enemies. Cool. With a new weapon. Oh, this is never gonna end, isn't it? All right. Well, let's go to break. Yeah, sorry, I'm sure everyone watching this stream, you know, wants to hear about Xenoblade, not about some dumb comic that I've been writing for five years. I honestly thought it was interesting. It, it's been a passion project. I just haven't worked on it as much as I'd like to, because, uh, you know, I've been spending the past five plus years of my life trying to become a full-time YouTuber and then realized that wasn't working out, so now all my time's going into school. Hey. It's part of the reason why I did that, uh, drawing thing for the channel points, because it's, like, an excuse to do faster drawings, because that's one of the issues I have, is, uh, I spend way too much time designing things. I remember that feeling. And, uh, because, like, Part of the issue is Xenoblade is such a huge inspiration for a lot of my characters, so I feel like I have to over-design things like Xenoblade does. And uh, when you are writing a comic series where you're going to be drawing characters thousands of times, you don't want them to be super overly designed because that's a lot of drawing. So you, you, you have to make it simplistic. Yeah. And then I decided, you know what, my main character's ability is going to have, like, black flames. That won't be terrible to draw or anything. Ugh. I'm hating my- I, I'm secretly hating myself. <laughs> it's fine, though. Anyways, how's everyone doing? You tired? Yeah, Alright. Um... No. I, I stopped Blade, myself halfway no. through because I was gonna continuously repeat being like, you guys tired of me talking about Flame of Corruption? Has my insecurity kicked in yet? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just... So I can't tell. <laughs> well, part of the reason why I try to stop myself from talking about it is I have had people message me over the years like back when back when flame of corruption was just starting um i actually had people who would follow the channel just because they wanted that like they did not care about my let's plays they didn't care about any of the content i was producing they just wanted the comic so they would come to like like i never i i've never released like concept art of all this stuff i talk about this stuff a lot but like i've never shown any of it um and I do this because I have had people be like, hey, we want updates on the comic. And I'd be like, okay, well, here's the sketch that I have. And they're like, okay, cool. You need to be working on this 100%. We don't care about Let's Plays anymore. We don't care about this. We don't care about that. We just want the comic. And I'm like, well, I also enjoy making like Let's Plays and stuff. Like The goal has always been to earn enough money doing videos that that can be my full-time job, and then I work on the comic on the side. That was always the goal from the beginning. It's not anymore, but for years it was. And people were like, no, 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 d don't do that. Just work on the comic. Stop making Let's Plays and, and make the comic. And I was like, no. <laughs> so then people would no. get mad at me. So for oh. a while, I was like, okay, yeah, don't talk about this anymore because you're just going to piss people off and... 
Then you guys enable me. So I keep talking about it. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, nah, I... It... It is an interest to me, because it, it does sound interesting, and I know a lot of projects like that are time-consuming, especially if it's a passion project, in which case it needs to feel like it's to your standards, rather than, you know, a standard of, like, at the, like how One Piece is still going, the standard yeah, of how they are yeah. going. Yeah. And again, like, but, none of this is... I don't get paid for any of this. It 100% is a passion project. Passion. Like, I I don't exactly. get paid That's to it. stream. I, I have a very small channel. I don't really have regular viewers. So as a result, like, you know, I, I don't get... I don't get much money, and that's okay. I'm not trying to, you know, pressure people into that. It's your money. Do what you want. I'm going to do this stuff regardless. But what I'm trying to say is, like... I talk about this stuff a lot because I'm passionate about it and it's something that I'm working on, but yeah. please don't DM me being like, you need to work on this more because I'm uh, following that's, your content for it because I I demand that it comes out when it's like, I'm not getting paid to do this, so like really I could just stop working on it tomorrow and it wouldn't matter. It's purely something I do in my spare time because I enjoy it. I'm happy yeah, you're no, excited that's... about it and I, I hope you will continue to be excited about it. But like that, that's something that, that that's always been something that I always notice a lot with like different places, like different venues, whether it be like game design to comic making or even art in general. People just have such a short fuse when it comes to time constraints that a lot of people just fail to realize there are many reasons why it's taking so long, ranging yeah. from monetary standards to wanting it to be up to the creator's sta standards just because it may look good to you doesn't mean that it's going to be good to them and also keep this in mind uh game design is a great example you want to know how a game like xenoblade 2 was able to release as quickly as it did with how many characters it had and how uniquely designed all those characters were they had over 300 plus artists alone like just yes. that many people doing art for the game I am one guy. I I don't have anyone working on this stuff besides me. Yeah, no, so to me, essentially saying that we're we want it to be one hundred percent focused on A, it's gonna cause burnout, so you know, that's gonna really hinder it. And B, you are just one person. Even if you dedicate one hundred percent of your time to it, doesn't mean it's gonna get here quicker. Exactly, and I, I also need to be comfortable enough to be, like, knowing myself personally, um, I need to be comfortable enough in my real life situations that I could consistently release chapters for this series for it to even be realistically feasible to come out. I, I'm not the type of person, and I've seen, I've followed other creators who have made comics where it's like, you know, they'll release a chapter like every, I don't know, six months. And it's like, oh yeah, I'm working on other things. I, knowing myself and how I am with schedules, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to be comfortable enough where like, yes, if this is a thing I'm working on, it needs to be consistent. I need to be able to releasing this consistently. And I just, I don't have that time. Because again, this is all I... passion projects. This is all stuff I do in my spare time. The reason why I'm streaming today right now is because I was able to get my schoolwork done fast enough that I I don't have to worry about it. It's done. So like Exactly. You know. I, I it's like cool, I'm done with my schoolwork. I can stream. Same thing with drawing. Like I wanted to I wanted to draw today. I didn't have time. I didn't even have time to get all my my grocery shopping done today because <laughs> it's like twelve forty five I'm like, oh shit, I have to go to class. And then as soon as I finish class, I'm like, all right, well, it's 3 p.m. Stores are going to be way too busy because it's rush hour in Utah. Uh, I'm going to work on the alerts that I promised I would get done today. And I barely got them done in time. So, yeah. Time's always an issue. Yeah, time is always an issue. So, I mean, 
and because of the fact that we brought up game design, it takes, especially major companies who have, or are supposed to be getting deadlines, it takes them years to release something that they can deem worthy enough to be released. Yeah. Because if they don't take that time, we end up, we end up, as consumers, end up getting buggy, glitchy messes that and exactly. really and do I, hinder. I, I have... Admittedly, I have unrealistically high expectations for myself a lot of the time, so I... I, I don't want to release something subpar. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. I don't want to release something subpar. No, I, and that's me, exactly why... I, I was that 10-year-old making shitty comics in their math class. I... I don't want to do that at 23. <laughs> and now I'm trying to think, what was I doing at 10? I don't know, I think my mind was all over the place at that point. I think at that point I was too busy pretending I'm fucking Spider-Man on the fucking <laughs> playground. Uh... Some things don't change, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not the playground anymore. So uh, what you're saying is if we ever do a charity stream, a bumper of ours would just be you dressed as Spider-Man uh, doing parkour in a, in a school playground? I'll do you one better. If if that day comes, I'll have an entire segment of just us playing a game while I'm just completely dressed as Spider-Man, trying to play the part. How much do I have to pay you to actually make that a bumper, though? Because you, you know, you know that one of the bumpers for me, would I would absolutely have to dress as, like, either Kiryu or Majima and do the Friday night dance at an actual club. I can see you dressing up as them, though. I've already, I've already talked to Dark Petrosian, because no joke, he looks very similar. Like, just, just imagine if Majima was... I don't know if this is going to get me canceled for saying this, but imagine if Majima was Mexican. Hispanic? Yeah, that, that is Dark Petrosian. And I've already, and he already has a suit. I've already told him, I'm like, dude, literally put your hair in a ponytail, get your suit, and wear an eye patch, and you are Majima. And he's like, ooh, I may consider that for, like, a next convention or something. And I told him, I was like, how much do I have to pay you to dress as Majima? I'll dress as Kiryu. We go to a club, and we film that. And he's like, you will never get me to do that. <laughs> I'm like, I want it, though! I want to do it! It'd be so funny! I just want to I just want to do it because it's funny! I may get kicked uh, out of the club for being an absolute moron, but let's face it, that's what I am. You know I what? am a moron. But we have fun with it. I want to do it. I want to dress as Kiryu and go do the Friday night dance at a club. Hold on. You know what? I'm looking up something, and this will closely uh, determine my price range. <laughs> Why why do you enable my dumb ideas? <laughs> Cuz I cuz they're fun sometimes. I mean, okay, I I will admit I've been partnered with Extra Life for like 7 years now. Um and I've only ever done one Extra Life stream. I've wanted to do annual Extra Life events just because I'm partnered with them. Uh but I just I haven't had ideas. Um, but ho I mean, hopefully the other thing is like, we're adults, we're trying to figure our lives out. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully if everyone has their lives figured out a little bit better by next year, we can, we can try to plan something. I can definitely say, uh, this year, no way. Even, yeah, no. Just on my end, no way. I, <laughs> I, I'm focusing on school 100%. I'm probably going to be moving this year. Yeah. I got too much on my plate. I'm lucky yeah, if I get no, to stream. I, nah, I I understand the sentiment there. Also, I I, about I, 20 I bucks. <laughs> that's it. Twenty dollars. Well, I need. <laughs> how about can we? How about we add a plane ticket with that too? I'll buy I'll buy the plane <laughs> ticket and the costume. Right there, you go. We'll do it. Well, the and the web shooters. 
Oh, the little yeah. toy. Oh one. yes, no, and it's got like the little ca air canister or the like the spray. Yeah, that's exactly why yes. I was saying about twenty bucks. Ooh, I was looking, yes. I was looking up for one of those guys. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. We gotta go all out with that. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> why am I so dumb? Because it's fun. This is this is why this is why I'm forever single. I am uncontrollable. <laughs> I am uncontrollable. Chaos runs through your veins. I am I am chaos incarnate, but it's just <laughs> stupid video game stuff. Oh god, I could already see myself falling flat on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Do a front flip! Okay. Yo, do wow. a flip! Not, not, not even like jumping, just flops. <laughs> that would be even better! Oh, we could recreate that scene in Spider Man 3, though! Which one? The, the one where, like, if you fail the QTE in the building and the lady's like, I'm gonna die! Yeah! Bop! <laughs> I'm gonna die! And the building explodes, we could absolutely recreate that. All right, well, we got we got to come up with now we got to come up with uh, various segments for a charity event. Like what 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 ideas would we have for for segments? I oh God, I don't even know. I I, I have on this. I have one idea. Uh, I I call it manga Mad Libs. Literally, it is. It, it is quite literally Mad Libs. So you have, basically you have a general synopsis. You have like an hour to make like a 10 page comic of that synopsis. But, uh, people can donate to add things into that synopsis. So like, okay, general idea. You gotta make a comic of Mario saving Peach from Bowser. So you're drawing it, you're like, okay, panel one, Mario's walking through the level or whatever. Then uh, someone donates and they're like, oh, but Mario gets attacked by a chain chomp partway through. So then you got to add that in there. And then it's like, oh, well, then Goku shows up. And you're like, oh, shit. All right, cool. So ah. Mario's somehow got to defeat Goku in order to rescue Peach. How am I going to figure this out? No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I think, I think the plot just got lost immediately no, there. And that's the point! And then Go that's the no, point! No, no. And, then Goku sh no. and then Goku showed up. So now we gotta write out how, how Goku's gonna defeat Mario. To no, save no, 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 because you, you got the manga, the comic chapter has to end with the synopsis. So somehow we have to write away that Mario beats Goku so he can rescue Peach at the end of the comic. And you only have so many panels. Like I would, I would have preset panels, so it's like, oh fuck, okay, hold on, I gotta figure this out. And like people can just keep adding, yeah. So like that's the donation incentive. So it's like all the donations would go to charity, but that's your incentive. Is like, oh, I can, I can change the story. Oh my god. That that's uh. That'd be that, crazy. That's my pitch for uh, uh, the Mighty Blues Coliseum. Big blue brawl. <laughs> I wonder. Does Kingdom Hearts count? Does a uh, Kingdom Hearts crowd control exist yet? Not entirely sure. There's a Kingdom Hearts randomizer. We could do that. True. Would you be willing to go through that hell for charity? Do like a Kingdom Hearts I'd 2 be... randomizer? I'd be very confused, be like, oh, sweet, I, I, I think this is where we get this Keyblade. The yeah, potion. Just be like, wait a minute. Hold yeah, on. That's how I felt when I did the uh, Earthbound randomizer. I would love to do, like, a weekend of just, like, a charity event like that. Maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe one, one day. day when people give a shit about this channel. Anyways, let's go back to whatever the hell game we were playing before.
Alright, what were we doing? I forgot. Oh yeah, we were equipping that gun. The the high high dyads. Anyway, sorry. My brain is just always filled with stupid ideas. Don't encourage them. Why not? Because. Oh, here yeah. we go, right here. Oh, yeah, I actually- might. Oh, those are all so cool! Oh, those are so cool. Why are the man on weapons so cool? Look at that shit! God, that's awesome! Look at them! They're like- They're like- They're like pots you put on your hand and they shoot people. What? I, I'm not selling it, am I? <laughs> pots. <laughs> I What's would it? understand that they were wings. <laughs> they're, they're fancy pots. <laughs> Also, they have many holes in them. I don't. I don't think you really plant much in it. Oh, we need to go up there. Oh wait, there's a there's a shoreline over there. We can jump. Oh, we gotta kill the pigs. That's the enemy we gotta kill. I've played this game enough that I'm actually remembering what the like species this is, are. This is where we kill. This is this is where I go to kill my pigs. Where all the pigs died. You know, I, I've I've talked a lot about you know, uh, all about me. How have you been? Doing all right. Probably should have asked that question you know like two hours ago, but <laughs> you know, That's all good. I, uh, I started talking about myself, and my dumb ideas. They were fun ideas! I added to them, by the way. <laughs> so it wasn't just your it wasn't just your stupid ideas, it was my Fair stupid ideas too. Fair point. I was the one that brought up Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I love that by the way. That that's the thing that I love about like TRG Coliseum and what I want to replicate doing a charity event is like every creator involved has things about them. That you know they can add to the table. I ran with the keyblade. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'll add. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's the thing. Like the bumpers would be, you know, things that, about us. Yeah. <laughs> it's your turn to get smoked, Gobby, with the power of the light. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't- I- hold on, I didn't- My brain was halfway shut off. Don't worry about please, it. No, don't no, worry. no, no. No, no, please, no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry Excuse about it. Excuse me, I just- you- you encouraged me to go on a whole discussion about how I want one of my- how one of my own OCs wants to get fucked by Satan. Please elaborate. Don't worry about it. I see how it is. Double standard over here. Want me to embarrass myself on the it. internet, but you won't you won't do the same? Okay, that's fine. It's not like you know. Alpha Blade! What the fuck was that? What did you just do? You what the fuck No! Oh god! <laughs> keep keep playing. why did you sub? You've doomed us now I have to play Sonic Adventure! Oh god! Were you waiting for that? Were you waiting for that? Yes. Oh my god. Well, thank you for that, by the way. Uh, enjoy your Alpha Blade, and uh, also enjoy Don't knowing the fact about that it. I, I have to play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 now. At least it's just Sonic- it's, at least it's just the Sonic Adventure games. Yeah, fair point. I, I will yeah. give them an honest review because I've never actually I've never played Sonic Adventure One and I've only played a little bit of two. Uh, also, yeah. yes, that um, is our new that is our new alert. It is uh the Alpha Blade. Alpha Blade. The uh I have a I have a variant of it for gift subs. That uh, is literally just <laughs> it's just the Alpha 
being extremely slowed down and then slowly speeding up. No. <laughs> so it, so it's just like alpha, 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 alpha blade. The, I'm sorry, the alpha blade is just too funny. So I was like, I have to make that the sub alert. Good, I didn't even see good. it. Did the gif actually work? Like, did the I, didn't, I, I didn't know if it popped up on the stream or not because I didn't see it off of the I, Discord stream. I, I didn't either because uh, it's on a separate monitor. But I guess, I guess so that way, out of the way, I'll say what I said. I, w I was basically trying to make a joke about like a uh, Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin, but instead it's like Power of the Light as he's holding a Keyblade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, considering the fact that like, you know, Spider-Man's owned by Disney, it could happen. And also knowing Peter True. Parker as a character, he would absolutely do that. Hell yeah! I wanna, I wanna beat the Green Goblin with the Power of the Light! And he's like, Spider-Man, what the hell is that thing? Yes, too late, Spider-Man! I've it's already the opened the door to darkness! No, no, Green Goblin, that's that's dangerous! <laughs> no, quick, Goblin! Quick, Donald! You can't do Donald, it. we gotta! <laughs> Donald, we gotta do something! <laughs> Donald it's, rock, it's like Rocket Donald. Raccoon. <laughs> Peter, what the fuck are you making me do? This is stupid! Spid Spidey, what the, hell are you, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, Donald! Hit him with fire! <laughs> Hit him with fire! Just <laughs> imagine, imagine, like, <laughs> Doctor Strange is goofy. Oh, I love it. I want this now. Can we just make Groot goofy instead? Oh, you Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know enough See, about Marvel to go with this joke, but I love it. I just love the idea of, like, Peter embracing his nerdiness and just being. <laughs> oh, there's been many times where he fully embraces it. It's amazing. Oh, I love stuff like that. I. I was... Fuck, now I want to talk about Flame of Corruption again. Sorry, I won't. I just keep thinking back of just. Spidey in like Sora's Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit, but still has his mask on. I just imagine Spider-Man actually going up to Tony Stark and being like, Hey, can you make me like a Keyblade? And he's like, the fuck's a Keyblade? Peter, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, so it's this, it's this really cool weapon from like this game that I play. <laughs> Tony's just like sitting there like, uh -huh. He's like, you know, I could make you like... A, you know, can, like a like a super I, suit, or you know, like something I, actually I cool. He's like, no, 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 I, I want I, this. I, I literally build suits that shoot laser beams. I built you a suit that has like giant robotic like spider legs, and this is what you're asking me to do. Yes. <laughs> it 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 gives me it's it out. absolutely gives me great Saiyan vibes. And considering how much I love the great Saiyan, I would absolutely love that idea. <laughs> I just said like kind of. <laughs> I don't know why, but the first, next thing I just immediately think of is just like Thor coming in and just saying like, Tony, just give the boy what he wants. Uh, I'll even make it magical for him. I don't care. <laughs> Thor will help him out. <laughs> Thor. <laughs> is that even better? <laughs> God, they have to do like a Kingdom Hearts Marvel collab at some point. They have to. Like the the closest thing that we got, and it's only because I recently found out about it, was uh, the whole uh, Big Hero Six world. Oh yeah, because Big Hero Six. Yeah, no, you're right. That's, even though uh, it's even though it's not entirely based off the comics, they do have the comics that is Big Hero Six. Well, also, and it is published by Marvel. Don't. Wasn't that a world that people really liked? I think so. I don't know. I, 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 I Kingdom Hearts three is I know, really. I don't know much about that game. I will say I know one world that I entirely understand people's grievances with, because it is boring. 
Isn't it the Frozen World people didn't really like? Yep. Yeah. yep. I know up why and they down, up that and world. Down, up and down. Oh, I know exactly why too. I mean, <laughs> they fucking used two of the most popular songs from that fucking movie and fully animated the entire song into it. Yeah. Both songs. Yeah, again, I, I, I totally get why it's in there. But why do we need to go to the administrative district now? We gotta pay. We gotta pay Tony for Spidey's keyblade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real talk. Now that we're doing a Sonic Adventure LP, uh, you know what? I'll I'll give you the approval of it, um, cause you paid for it. Uh, what it's what are we? My fault. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what are we doing for the the thumbnail art? Cause like it could go, it could go in two directions. You know, we could make it. Well, okay, neither are wholesome. You know, cause if it was up to me, I I would just have it. You know, like a soul finding very creative ways to uh, mutilate Sonic. Because you know, the, to replicate my opinions on the on the blue blur. Or you know, we could I already. I already have an idea. Okay. A Sewell choking out Sonic, and but Sonic is, is like Homer choking out Bart. I I did that for the Sonic 06 LP though. Fuck. <laughs> because I'm like trying to think of like, all right, this is something that you do. Oh no, I have the perfect idea for Sonic Adventure One. Oh please we, tell me. We replicate. The, the the front cover of Sonic Chew issue issue zero of like Chris Chan no. like sending out Sonic Chew and he's like go Sonic Chew zap to the extreme and he's like I will father but it's it's a soul it doing that with with S Sonic Chew and I oh. I will try to replicate Chris Chan's art style and everything. I'm just picturing a very unenthused fucking Asul. I'm just imagining a Asul being drawn by a, you know, a five-year-old with like the Chris Chan medallion. Just imagine Asul instead of her dog tags. It's the Chris Chan. It's the Sonic Jupiter. <laughs> I fucking hate it. I do too. Oh. I and then for Sonic Adventure Two. Well, I mean, okay. So I I will admit the uh, with Sonic Adventure Two, we'll just have it Philly and Fuqua. <laughs> does, does ooh, I like that. It's just it, yeah, it's like Sonic and Shadow doing the, with the their pose. Yeah, but it's just <laughs> but Philly it's and just, Fuqua. I actually like that. Um, Apparently, they referenced that for Fuqua. Did with Umbrella. They? Oh. Yeah, Umbrella has uh, one move where her opponent gets caught in a bubble. Uh, for Fukua, for Fukua, she does Shadow's pose from oh Sonic god. Adventure 2. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, I was gonna say, I I do actually, I, I will admit, does anybody remember the outfit I designed for a soul when I played through Sonic Mania? Yeah, that's been a while. Now yeah, I know. I, I, hold on. Let me, let me actually pull up that artwork. Hold on. We're gonna stop the stream so I can I can pull that up. Cause I was gonna say, uh, I actually do genuinely really like that that outfit I gave her. We, I mean, I we could just do like a soul with that outfit. Cause I I do. Yeah. I do like I it. I think it, if I remember correctly, it was like, I I, I it was like short shorts with like a, a sleeveless hoodie and then like the hoodie had like sonic's ears and then she had like gloves that had the rings god what year Ink. was that 2018 oh wow it actually was i got it right it's 2018 <laughs> i won't show because this art's bad yeah so it, it was it was like a soul in like short shorts Oh no, no, she has a, a, 
she has a blue vest, which I mean, she always she has her blue vest. So I would probably just design to have her blue vest. And then she has like a like a white uh, like t uh, crop top. And then she's got a beanie. She's got like a blue beanie with Sonic's ears. Eh, I'd probably redesign it, but th that's yeah. also the idea. I I just I the only thing I could think of for Sonic Adventure Two is giving her like the same outfit, but it's shadow themed, and she's doing like Dio's pose, <laughs> holding like a Chaos Emerald. Or you know, we fine. could just have her like you know like murdering Sonic somehow. Also, we did it. We did all of the all of the quests. Which means we can go talk to Van Dam and we can go get our scale finally. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get our robot. Oh, what are we gonna design our it. robot to be? Finally did it. Don't. I just now realized what our what our robot almost has to be. Fuck. Why did I bring it up this oh, no. stream? Oh god. Why did I bring it up? Oh, I went to the wrong area. You, I. I I you you know you know don't you? We're about to get a mech suit for a soul. We we have to we have to make Eagle Heart. I mean, let's face it. I I literally gave a soul a mech in Flame of Corruption. D d we right. I, like w w please please tell me like this is a bad idea it definitely sounds like it's gonna be a bad idea I mean is it really or is this just me being insecure about my dumb ideas well the only reason why I'm thinking it's gonna be a bad idea is because my colorings pieces how it's all gonna fit together type thing Oh, well, so the scales actually have pre-made designs. We just get to change the color. Oh. So it's ah. literally just giving it a color scheme. I think it's a good scheme. idea. Of course you would. All right, final exam. No need to stress, though. It's a simple verbal quiz. Oh. We had to run missions for each of the eight divisions, and there's a reason for that. Care to guess what it might be? Uh... <laughs> say it was Van Damme's way of hazing you. Say that it was better to understand the role of each division plays with blade within blade. I mean, obviously that's the right answer, but nah, we're, we're the, the right answer. Exactly. Now you've got a feel for each one's particular flavor. Hopefully, that's given you a few ideas of how you can put a scale to use. Anyway, that's one reason, but there's another. There aren't exactly enough scales to go around for all the division. Sometimes situations arise where people have to cross division lines and cooperate to get things done. For efficiency's sake, it's important that everyone knows how the other divisions work. Makes sense? No. Good. You now, <laughs> then you are now clear to own and operate a skill. I've authorized your license now. I also but get I to share no. some good news. I don't news. care. We don't, we, we don't have enough people who drive these, these yeah, things. Sh shut up. You're hired. <laughs> Looks like you're given, you'll be given a free skill. Compliments of Van Dam. I parked it in the hangar in the back. Go introduce yourself and give it a test ride. Go introduce yourself to yourself. Ever read Ever read Flame of Corruption? No, of course you haven't. It's not out yet. Alright, we get we even get a fun little cutscene. I'll admit, I don't have final designs for Eagle Heart, so you know. This will work out great. Nothing else, blue. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's obviously has to be like blue, white, gray, and gold. Does anybody what remember is... this? Th funny enough, this is the cutscene they showed uh, when they first introduced this game at E3. This is the exact cutscene. Yeah. I... So for those of you curious, this was the first time we ever got to see Xenoblade X to the world. Look at where we are now, dreading every moment of it. <laughs> yeah, because our shitty OCs in here. Now.
Because game Sorry, nine you, gave, that you, good. you gave me ammunition. I oh. will. I, I, I got another type of ammunition. You might want to watch out. I know. It's called love and affection. Exactly. Look at us. We got a robot now. Look at that. that goddamn time. The game's actually the game's fun now. <laughs> I was going to say, does this mean that the game's fun now? Yeah, oh so, my god, it's a car. Yeah, so uh, the skill has three modes of operation. You can either run, or if you, instead of running, you can turn into a car. And then later on in the game, there's a side quest we can complete that will allow us to fly. For now, we can't fly. We can just jump really high. Uh, skills also have fuel. Uh, fuel is basically your um, the amount of like attacks you can do. Um, in order to refuel, you have to just get out of your skill. This is just by pressing Y. Um, some skills have better fuel than others. Skills are very expensive. They also have their own health bar. Um, if a skill falls in combat, it will explode and you have to pay a shit ton of money to get it repaired. Or, if you complete online squad missions, you can get uh, coupons that'll essentially let you rebuild your skill for free. So what you're saying is we ain't got gonna be getting those coupons. Uh, we will, just not right now because we were disconnected from the server. Right. Um, also, I flying will be does right back. use. No, you're good. Uh, flying also uses up fuel, so uh, when we get that, you'll have to keep that in mind. I do believe you can upgrade skills later on that will allow you to. Uh, upgrade the fuel, which I believe if we go to our uh, blade barracks, we can up or uh, we can change the color of our scales because some of you may have noticed that there is a garage in the uh, blade barracks. The garage is actually where all of our scales go. So the more scales you buy, because yes, you can buy multiple scales and you can own more than one, uh, they will all be parked in the garage so you can display them. But I don't think we have any money to buy more scales, so we'll just deal with the one that we have. Uh, but let's actually customize it. Unless it doesn't allow us to customize our scale right now. Does it not? I've sworn we can. Oh yeah, here we go, yeah. Uh, scale garage. So we have our, our current model. This is actually how we are able to equip various uh, weapons to it. Scales! The uh, armor, you can't... Or no, you can change the armor. You can change the armor, but also, look at how many weapons these things have. These things have a shit ton of weapons. Basically, every orifice uh, that the skull has. Uh, it, yeah. Register the skull to a plate operative. So yeah, you can actually, uh, depending on what skulls you have outfitted, you can actually give them to different uh, party members. I believe this one is just our default, so we can only give it to a soul. You can also change the gear, which I... Pretty sure we actually yeah, we do actually have some scale gear uh, So like this one will up our ranged attack the new sniper Why not let's do it uh, Let's change our salt this ooh That's better cooldown by half Wow, the cooldown is cut in half and our TP gain and Jesus the TP gain on that's really good Yeah, sure. Let's go with that weapon. Uh, our back only. Oh, yes, we got like a rocket launcher on the back. 6,000 force, 40 cooldown. Apparently that lowers our cooldown. Also, some of you may have noticed right here, uh, depending on what weapons you equip, that determines your arts. Skells, unlike, uh, you as a party member, uh, skells do not slowly gain more arts as you go up in class level. Uh, skells arts are dependent on what weapons you give it. So, uh, depending on, you know, what type of weapon you give it, that'll determine what arts it has. Don't really think that's gonna be something of I- Oh my god, look at that energy sword! That's so cool! Oh my god, these weapons are so cool! This is the thing that I remember loving about Xenoblade X. This is what got me to put 100 hours into this game, is the- the scales. The, uh, the weapon- just the scales alone are so cool. Uh, I think I like this weapon the most. Or not this one. I like this one the most. This one's better. The beam saber. Oh, that's just that's just zero saber. 
So that gives us... Uh, what art does that give us? I don't think it actually gives you the name of the art. But basically we get like a beam slash move. Uh, we don't have any weapons for or any of these slots. Which is fine. I don't actually think we have any skill things aside from what we got. So we'll probably need to go and buy some enemies. Uh, oh, that's... The skill itself cannot be changed. Okay, then. Uh, also, we can name our skill, which... We all already know what the name of the skill is going to be. It is going to be... Ooh, actually, can I... Can I do this? Eagle Heart. Oh, I can! Wow! It, it fits perfectly. Yep, Eagle Heart. That will be the name, because uh, that is actually a soul skill in Flame of Corruption. We can also customize the colors. Uh, I remember spending a lot of time with this, so what color are we customizing right now? Looks like section one. Oh, it actually highlights what section. Okay, so. Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I think what I wanna do for the base, I wanna do like a gray. I wanna do. I do just like a standard gray. How ah, the blue gray actually kind of works. No, I like just gray. We'll go for just like a light gray. All right, section two is what? Okay, so it's those parts. I think we're gonna go. Mm, we're gonna go black on that because like. I already know my color scheme. We're going to do gray, black, blue, and gold. Because that's kind of my favorite color scheme just in general with things. It's just a matter of, uh... Okay, so for those parts, we're going to go gold. We're going to give, like, the gold for the, the siding pieces. Ah, it's more like a dirty gold. I want to give it a bit brighter. There we go. Look at that! Section four. What is section four? I actually can't tell what section four is. What is what is section four supposed to be? Is that the visor? No. What is section four? I can't tell. What is, what is section 4 supposed to be? Because we can also change the visor. We can change the lights. So we can change what the light's going to be. I already know what the light's going to be. So the light the light is on the back. As well as like your, your uh, booster. We're going to give it... Yeah. We're going to give it that. We're also going to make the visor the same color. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so what's section four? Section four. Oh, it's that. It's those parts. Okay. Never mind. So I think what we're going to do is the part that's black, we may change to uh, blue. Yeah, we're going to change it to blue. We're gonna go for that. Yeah, we're gonna go for that color. I I actually really like this. Section. Why don't we make section four black? Ooh yeah. No, I like that. I like that. The problem is, hmm. I wonder. Let's swap the gray and the blue. Also, uh, certain scales have, like, different finishes. Like, like, this one has a glossy finish. There's other ones that have, like, matte and other, other textures to them. Um, really, really the fun of this game is just the scales. You, you're gonna want to, you're gonna want to customize them. Alright, well, that's a brightness on this. I think what I want to do is I want to... Is that close? Yeah, it's 
close. And this one will change to uh, gray. You know, admittedly, I, I like the gray on blue more. I actually think I like the gray on blue more, especially given the fact that the uh, we're gonna give the the gray like a blue gray to it. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of like the the blue, the the lighter blue gray more than as the primary color. Uh, more than yeah. So section one will will be. Oh, that's so bright. Wow, that's really bright. No, that's too bright. No, I want the saturation to be more gray and the brightness to be up. Yeah, let's go, let's go with that. No. There we go. That works. And then, we'll change this. Let's see if I can get the color right. There we go. Section three, I think we're gonna keep with the gold. Section four, we're gonna keep with the black. Or actually, I wonder. What if we do the black? What if we swap the black and the gold? I wanna see that. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely that definitely fits. And then we'll we'll do the gold. We'll mix the gold in there. I, I'm thinking way too deep into this. I'm well aware, but it's fine. You know what? I'm gonna make this a bit darker. I want, I want the gray to be a bit. Uh, darker. It's a bit too bright. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, cool. Update this color scheme. Yep. We can also sell our scale, but we're not going to do that. Um. Yeah. Looks good. Eagle hearts there. We got two arts for it. Now we can go check it out in the garage. So if we go back here, look at that bad boy! Or bad girl, I should say. Whatever, I'm thinking too deep into this. All right. Now, I, I, uh, I don't know why. I, <laughs> I heard, I heard children playing outside. It sounded like a cat to me. Uh, anyways, now we go outside. We can actually check out our scale. Of course, it's nighttime. I want to see it during the day. Let's go change it to daytime. So I actually want to look at it. It looks super cool. Uh, right under the bench. Isn't there supposed to be a bench here? Uh, we're right on the other side. It's on the other side. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, bench. All right, let's do it. Let's look at the afternoon. I want to check out our skill. I want to look at it in all of its glory in the daytime. Look at that bad boy. All right. So guess what? I love it. I love. I love the uh, color scheme on it. Yeah. This thing is so cool looking. I love it. Look at it in its glory. All right. So, uh, obviously, we need to get some more arts for it. So let's, uh, let's see if we can buy some stuff. Also, let me check my meridian. Not great, but that's fine. 
believe we can go here. Now we can buy a scale weapon. We've technically been able to buy scale weapons for a while, but uh, we, we, I haven't bought any because we haven't had a scale. Also, we can now buy scale frames. So if we want to buy new scales, we can actually do so. Uh, obviously, you can tell they are very expensive. Which actually, now that I realize, Oh, you have to be a certain level to register the scales. So we could we could actually buy these scales. The only one we couldn't buy is uh, this one. This is the most expensive model. I remember I, which model did I use the most? I think it was no, not that one. Which one did I use the most? I think it was uh, wasn't this one. I can't remember which one I used the most, but I remember in my personal playthrough, I actually did the color scheme to make it look like Mega Man, and I called it the Blue Bomber. I was like, that looks so cool. Oh, scales are so cool. I love scales. I like the color scheme on that one. Uh, but we can buy some gear at least. We can buy some gear for Eagle Heart. So let's do so. So it looks like. The only weapon, because obviously you have to be a certain level to, uh, yeah, you have to be, like, look at these. Like, some of these have to be, like, level 50 to, to equip that. Um, so, we, we, we don't have many options. This one's the best. The railgun's the best, because it has the most, I'm assuming force is damage. Uh, this one has more ammo, but... Now, nah, let's do the railgun. Uh, you know what? Let's just start from the beginning. Okay, so we got... Let's see if we can get something that's better than what we already have. So far, nothing, actually. Okay, that's it. Really don't have a whole lot of options right now, but again, we're just starting out. Course. Of course, once the weapons actually start getting good, uh, we're not the right level. I don't know what the R back only means. Oh, right back only. Because, yeah, you have left back and right back. This one's nice and also giant. Oh! Oh! I think if it's R back only, it's like you can't equip something on the left back because it's such a big weapon. Holy shit, look at this thing! This thing's awesome! Come back and you're, you're freaking out. Yeah, uh, we're What's buying weapons. On? We're buying weapons for our scale. Also, we uh, we customized it. We changed the colors. We we now have nice. e Eagle Heart. It uh, looking good. Yeah, we're, we're buying weapons for it. We could also, we could technically buy new scales, because I just now realized we can afford almost any scale in the game. Uh, problem is, you have to be a certain level to ride them. Sounds about right. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so the, the problem is I already bought the railgun for the left side, so it almost makes sense to buy it for the right side, but... I almost want to buy the Buster because that's 9,000 damage versus, what would that be, 3,600 damage for two missiles? Never take. Yeah, fuck it, let's buy it. 40 cooldown, which is uh, not great, but you know, it's fine. It's what it is. It's also 89,000, that's fine. Scale, well, of course, what? you're buying... You're, you're yeah. buying a whole ass robot. Yeah, yeah, it's expensive. Uh, also, the uh, scale has like nine different weapons that you can equip to it. Each weapon is an art. Ah. I kind of want this shoulder weapon because even though it has high cooldown, it does good damage. Yeah, let's just do it. Why not? We're going to be using the scales for the most part for the rest of this LP because, in my opinion, scales are what makes this game fun. Uh, so, 
I'm gonna go all out with it. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do the same weapon on both sides. Why not? Uh, all right, shields. What do we want for our shield? None of them are great. Oh no, this one's pretty good. They they all these are all the same. What is the di there is no difference between any of these. These are all the same. They are even the same price. Okay. I guess I will just buy two of the same. All right, cool. Now we can. What is, what is our bomb saber? I don't know. I actually. Oh, it's oh, it's the weapon in our hand. Okay, that's what's changing. Actually, we have the best saber. Never mind. Oh, you get swords for each hand. I never noticed that. Ooh. All right, cool. So we're gonna go for this one. The, the other beam saber. God, we are spending all of our money on, on our skill. Okay, so I don't know what any of these are. This heads for the visor. Uh, this one ups our melee accuracy. That kind of seems good. This one ups our to. Uh, nah, let's go for the speed. I like the speed one. All right. Now we're actually buying uh, parts for the scale to up its defense and stuff. Which, funny enough, that's that's cheaper than buying actual weapons. <laughs> Ain't that just a kick in the in the balls? <laughs> oh. Go for this one. Yeah, I know. Menus, everyone's favorite. So fun. Fun, 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 fun. God, we I I have actually spent almost all of our money. Alright, cool. I think yep, that's everything. Alright, cool. Uh actually no, we're missing one weapon. Uh, oh no, we are missing it because our, our right back. That's right. Never mind, we're good. Alright, cool. Now, if we go, look at that thing. It's all decked out! Oh my god. How about we take it for a test spin? <laughs> yeah, once you get weapons on these things, they get real ridiculous. I can tell. <laughs> look at this thing drive with fucking rocket launcher on the back of it. Alright, let's get in a fight with something. Uh, also, if you have smaller enemies, you can run them over. So, uh, why, why don't we run over some goats? What did the goats do to you? Oh, they, they treaded on my land. <laughs> they, they shot my dog. This, the, the sheep. Oh yeah, we can also just walk on him. <laughs> that also works. <laughs> that is demented. Oh, one of one of them was actually trying to fight me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, combat is pretty much the same, uh, but we have new arts. So we have thermal bomber. We also okay. So I actually need to look at what our arts are. So potential up. Uh, thermal damage and fits. Oh wow, we have a stagger art. Physical damage inflicts taunt. Boost damage on toppled enemies. Oh, that's a cool. Okay, so that's a sword. I thought that was like a rocket launcher. Right. Okay then. No. We did it. We are. We are now. This. This is Our. how the game becomes fun. Finally. We don't Our. have my favorite weapon, uh, which we could try to go get. I don't remember how to get it, but I know where we can get it. Uh, we have to go to Silvalum though. Or, actually, you know what? The smartest idea is uh, we should research uh, when to get the flight module. Because that should be our next goal. Because I want to be able to fly. Yep. I think that's what we'll do right. instead. I, I'm already looking it up. And I'll just sit here twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have my tablet. <laughs> I have my tablet here for a reason. 
I'm not doing anything. I wanted to help. Okay, how to obtain the flight module? Uh, you were first must complete chapter nine. We have to do. We just finished chapter six. We have to beat chapter nine. There's like twelve chapters in the game. Really? So what you're telling me is, we gotta practically beat the game in order to fly. Yes. Yes, we do. Fuck it, who wants to explore the rest of the map with me? Uh, okay, kinda on. Kind of. Yeah. Air for the ride, anyways. Fuck was that? I sneezed. Sorry, I, I, I hold my, like. I, I actually, like, hold it in whenever I sneeze. Uh, cause I don't like spreading mucus everywhere, so, uh. I cause myself physical pain whenever I sneeze. That's going to lead to a lot more than just physical pain. That's fine. Nah. Uh, Alright, let's, actually, let's uh, actually do some damage. So I know. Rib it's, break. I know, right? It, it's more so my neck that hurts when I do it. Oh, what the fuck is this? What am I doing? Why did I go to, like, first person? This is not what I wanted. What am I doing? Okay, I don't, know, the why that, I don't know why it did that. Fuck. Oh my god, we're just zero. We just have zeros. Beam saber. That is awesome. I say we fatten him up another 500 grams or so. Also, uh, we could get skills for everyone else, but, uh, you know, we could also not. <laughs> that would cost a lot of money. I spent all my money on this skill. I was gonna say, how, 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 uh, how long did it take for us to finally get this skill? I know, right? Oh, hey! That, with how much what? money? I think we could fuck up Ted. Aww. He's only, he's only you know, nine Payback. levels higher than us, but, uh... Power. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm Ted Fuck It. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I hit the true Ted Fuck It. This is, this is what Ted Fuck It's real form is. Um, there is one... Oh my god! Whoa! That's such a cool move! He's doing like a shoulder bash! Oh! Oh, we can bind the enemy! Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, we can force the enemy down. I forgot about this. Yeah, so this is an ability the scales have. You can bind the enemy for your uh, your partners to do damage. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to be honest. Uh, scales definitely break this game. Like, levels mean nothing once you get a scale. I gotta say that. Because, uh, you know, this thing is like nine levels higher than us, and we are just doing a fuck ton of damage. So, you know, obvious. I, uh, I don't, obvi I don't like advantage. when it goes into the cockpit mode. But, you know, that's what it is. I don't know how, what your character sees. Yeah, but I, I just don't care. Um, You do have overdrive for your scales, but I don't remember how to pull it off. Because obviously we have max TP and like we can't use overdrive, or can we? No, we can! We can use overdrive! Well, we shouldn't because the thing's almost dead. But yeah, look at that. That enemy was nine levels higher than us, and just because we were gonna scale, it did nothing. Also, if you notice, your party gets a 20% defense buff if you're in a scale, and they're not. Scales break this game. They Obviously. absolutely break this game, and I, I love them for that. But, again, if you break your skill, you have to pay a shit ton of money to get them fixed. <laughs> they're they're fun to have, and own, and use, but if they break, boy right. howdy, you might as well as to buy a whole new one. Let's try out Overdrive with this bad boy. Preparing for death. Don't, don't say that! I don't want to die! We said it was your death. Oh, our overdrive was extended. I don't know how, but it was. Oh shit! I accidentally, I accidentally ended the fight. Oops. Well, <laughs> guess our overdrive's not extended. Also, with our scale build, uh, we do more damage against uh, mech, mech enemies, anyways. So, uh, oh fuck. Okay, that did a lot of damage. 
Okay, we may want to, you know, get out of our skill, actually. Uh, yeah, that was a bad idea, actually. Actually, I wonder. Does the skill... The skill... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just get the fuck out of here. This was actually kind of a bad idea. Uh, because our skill is about to explode, and we just got it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you're not in, you know, impervious to damage, but, uh... You're, you're definitely... So you sure do use a lot more. Yeah. Also, if you notice, uh, we are burning through our fuel. So you don't want to go two balls of the wall with scales because uh, you have to refuel it. Because your arts do use fuel. Right. Anyways, welcome to Silvalum. Uh, one of my favorite locales in all of Xenoblade. Looking nice, looking good. You're technically not supposed to be here this, uh... Early? Yeah, yeah this this early in the game. But, uh... Did you hear? If there's one thing I will always say about Xenoblade is, uh... As soon as you can explore, do it. Explore as much as you can, because it will help you in the long run. Yeah. In fact, we actually do have a few probes. This will be good, like, level grinding, actually. Uh, hi! I didn't even know you were there! <laughs> he went for the ankles. <laughs> and we just nearly murdered him. With one. Yeah, th there you go. Scales are, uh, they're fun. Oh, I, <laughs> I actually ran one over! It God, this is. Th this is a power trick. Again, I I've stated this since the beginning. Scales make this game fun. Problem is, you get them so late in the game. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if they're worth that 40 hours. I don't... Uh, yes and no. I mean, that's a lot of time to commit to a video game. Uh, you know, 16-year-old... 16-year-old me would have said, said yes, it's absolutely worth the wait. But 23-year-old uh, me, who has a job and you know, all you know, responsibilities, would say absolutely not. I'm with you there. Let's go. Yeah, this will definitely be good. Uh, then again, I'm facts. the one who managed to. <laughs> then again, I was one who managed to pick eight over a hundred hours into an RPG. Oh, I've done that multiple times. It's called every Xenoblade game ever. Exactly. But I I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, hi. No. We might be able to take these two out. This, this might be fine. Okay, never mind. They are doing a lot of damage. Okay, never mind. They are... They Oh, this might actually have been Focus. a bad idea. Focus. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's knock him down. Okay, let's get our... Uh, let's, get to, let's, let's get some defense up. Okay. Woo! I mean, granted, we're doing more damage against mech enemies anyway, so this is this is good for us. But uh, yeah, we're essentially having Still. to do all this. Oh god. Okay. On your own. Yeah, because uh, everyone's dead. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Get the fuck out. No, nope, our scale blew up. Well. All right. Cool. And now we're gonna die. Never Bail. mind. That was a mistake. Alright, let's go see how much it's gonna cost to repair our skill, because we had it for five minutes. Money to a million. It probably will be. Uh now in order to repair your skill, you have to go back to your blade barracks. Fun. Yeah, it's, uh... I mean, granted, I wanted to come back here anyways, because I wanted to see if I could accept some quests. Right. Because admittedly, like, you know... We might as well. As much as I want to get yeah. supply... 
we got our new toys. We might as well complete some quests while we do it. Or, you know, while we yeah. test it out. Unfortunately, I already blew it up. This is why we can't have nice things. This, this is why we're not allowed to have fun. Yes. Yes, Anish Kish, that absolutely uh, would be a smart thing to do. The problem is I didn't think that far ahead. What do you say? He said, wouldn't it be smarter to just save and then reload your save so that way you wouldn't have to spend a bunch of money getting your scale back? Yeah. Hindsight is the, um, is the, the issue here. Uh, wait, do I have to just refuel? No. Oh, you use Meranium to refuel it. Really? I don't remember it. I don't remember it being that nice and generous to just use Meranium. And sweet and I also gentle. don't remember how to repair it. Oh, these are all uh, online stuff. Oh, yeah, network tickets. I think this is what it is. Is it? No. This is something else. That is a fair point. Yeah, because this... Uh, if I remember correctly, Xenoblade X works in a way where it essentially loads the entire map at once rather than loading it into chunks like all the other Xenoblade games do. So as a result, it takes forever to load, even with the expansion. And the expansion is designed purely to just help the game load faster. How do I repair my scale? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how to fix it. All I know is that we blew it up. I mean, it's right here. It's fine, but like, you know. It's dead. It's gone. Fuck. No, I remember you can you can repair it because you, you, you get like the coupons. <laughs> I want to use my coupon. Okay, I reset ownership. Uh, no, I already I already did that. Uh, do I have to re? No, I don't have to refuel it. Ah, uh, please tell me scale insurance is actually not a thing. No, scale insurance is a thing. Yes, those. Are, remember what I was talking about, like the the coupons. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called oh, scale yeah. insurance. You don't actually uh, get insurance. It's just like, hey, you want to repair your scale for free? And I think they are generous enough to give you a few for free. I just don't remember how to use them. How do I use them? I uh, I forgot. This is what happens when you don't play a game for five years. I swear it's in the hangar. Hold on, I wonder. Oh, maybe it's if you have insurance to use, it'll just automatically. Oh yeah, that chat That'd chat nice. literally said that. Thank you, chat. I, right as my brain was like, is that the thing? Uh, I think chat confirmed it. Well, let's go outside and find out. Because if our scale's out here, then that means it's not out here. Well, never mind then. Uh, uh it, no, hold on. It's It might be here. Because I think there's a thing you can do where it's like call your skill or something. Abandon ship. Party skill. What? Select a menu cannot be used at this time. What? Oh, return to skill. The selected skill cannot be used. Uh, hold on. Oh, it's I'll gone. Just, Abandon ship. Hold on. I'll just. I'll just. Hold on. I have Google. Uh, Xenoblade. I, I, I don't know how to spell Xenoblade, apparently. Xeno shits. ZBC. Okay, here we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. go to the Blade Barracks, check the console, the one that allows you to customize the barracks. It should be under Blade Hanger. That's where you do your scale customization as well as get your scale repaired. Uh, how do I see how many insurance I have left? Okay, so I was right. It's there. I just don't know how to navigate menus, apparently. Oh, man. I apologize for my poor performance. Alright, apparently I was right. It's here. You gotta go to the hangar. Go to Eagle Heart. Register. Okay. Yes. Register. Oh, I think it's just because I accidentally unequipped it from our character. I, is that what I did? Is that what is that what happened? Also, Keyblade, I've, I, I apologize. I didn't realize you 
requested a Xenoblade quote. My bad. Yeah, uh, you're fat. Uh, okay, I'm fine. Things were blade. blowing up. Uh, if my stream deck would work. Oh no, it is working. I'm pressing the wrong button. Theory, you, you were on top form just now. We're all Yay. glad to have you here. By no means. I have much to learn still. But thank you, Agate. Wow, of all the quotes, an agate one. Also, we got our scale back. Look at that. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. So that's the thing. Uh, I, I still feel like Xenoblade X was like Monolithos attempted an MMO. Problem is the online isn't very good because while yes, you can join servers with your friends and you can do quests with each other, you can't play side by side with them. So like I can't get in my skill, join a friend's server, and then they can like we can fight in the same party. The only thing that is online focused with this game is the fact that you can, if you're in the same squad or server as each other, you can find each other's NPCs scattered around the map. And this map's big, so good luck finding them. And if you find your friend's uh, character, you can then add them to your party. That's how the online works. And yes, they scatter all of the characters NPC or all the NPCs throughout the entire map. It's uh, have fun finding your friends. Yeah, exactly. Have fun finding your friends and uh, hope they have good stats. Ooh, what was my? I don't remember what my first blade was. My first rare blade. I don't remember. I want to say it was. Glorious? I could be wrong on that, but that sounds right. Also, uh, I guess we should probably do some quests. Uh, what help? Oh yeah, we still never got those grinding squirrels. You know what? Fuck it. This one, this one's been eating at me forever, and I think our skill's finally strong enough to fight Casper. So let's do it. Let's go murder Casper. I think it's and actually it is nighttime, so we are in ripe time frame to kill him. I think he's somewhere over here, right? Oh, he's on the other side of the map. Good. Uh, I want to be honest. Uh, Save your money. You're, yeah, you're good to skip this game. You are absolutely good to skip this game. Uh, you if you're someone who's like, oh, I want to stay caught up with the Xenoblade story. X is a spinoff. It has nothing to do with the overall plot of the other games. The only thing that X has any foundation on is uh, the protagonist of this game, Elma, is playable in 2 if you have the DLC. That's it. Also, he disappeared because it's early morning now. Is that, is that what happened? Did I get here? Yep, I got here at the wrong time. Cool. Literally a minute. Yep. Yeah, I would recommend just play Xenoblade 1 and 2. I am only doing a playthrough of X and streaming it because I want to be able to say I've beaten every Xenoblade game. This is the and only one of the series I haven't beaten, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's I been, know that... It's been an adventure. I can I can relate to that exact sentiment. That was me with Chains of Memories. Yeah. It's not a bad game. I can, I can see why people like it, but there's just a... No to put it bluntly, it, it is a good game. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's, to put it bluntly, tedious. It's, it's tedious. There's a lot of tedium to it, and part of it has to do with the fact that it's kind of an MMO. It, it's essentially a dead MMO on a system nobody bought, and it's an MMO made by Nintendo. Like, th this was during the era where Nintendo still did not understand what online was, and they still don't know what online They don't was. have a good e estimate on it still. Yeah, and like... There was- this was also during the era where like Nintendo was heavily censoring stuff. Like, from what- what we know from, uh, interviews with Tetsuya Takahashi, he wanted this game to be really dark, story-wise. Like, he had a really dark plot written out for it. But, you know, they, they scrapped it last second, and uh, that's why, like, the story feels kind of loose and, and disjointed. Because that's the other thing that I would argue makes this game not as good as the other Xenoblade games. The plot's not that great. Oh, I found Casper. He was stuck in here. There he is. There's the son of a bitch. Well, time to murder. 
I hope I can one-shot him. Oh, well, we did 50%. I'll take it. Close enough. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Remember when we struggled with this guy? We got it. Let's move. Well, now he's dead again. Well, we did it. We, we killed the unique R monster. Quest Rippy done. Pippy, Rippy Pippy Casper. <laughs> Casper fucking died again. Uh, do we go for the grinding squirrels? I think I remember where they are. I think, th aren't they in the cave that the uh, super boss is in? I don't know. I know nothing about this game. I, I think it's in the cave where the super boss is. Problem is, I don't remember where that cave is. I think it's called like the lion's den or something. Oh, of course that would be a place where a super boss lives. Oh yeah, it, it's ba remember the Sogaleo we killed earlier? It's basically yeah. that, but bigger. Oh. And he's, he's like level 150 or something. Also, keep in mind, the level cap you know. in this game is 60. So, you know, fair. I might be over-exaggerating a bit, but... I don't remember yes. where it is. No, in this, ga no, in this game? Nah, no, that sounds about right. Where is it? I should just... You know what? I already have the Xenoblade with me. The highest level for the... Oh, okay, so the enemy is level 99. I mean, that's still... That's 30... 39 levels higher than the cap. But that's also just a Xenoblade standard. The super bosses are always above the level cap. Exactly. And again, that's... Relatively common for most MMOs. Well, you mean, it, uh, most. Is it? I don't know. I don't know anything about MMOs. I don't know. I don't fucking know. The, the only one I really got into is Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and a lot of people argue that's not an MMO. I beg to differ. Uh, Primordia Cave Crawl. They can be found in Castaway Cavern. That doesn't sound Are they right. an MMO, I would say? It has, like, I get why people say uh, it's it not has an elements. MMO. Well, it's the same it with Xenoblade X. It. Like, could you really argue this is a true MMO when it just has elements? Oh, it? God, no. I'm not going to say that that's a true MMO. It is located in the northmost part of Primordia Island. Okay. Do I have a thing to cast away cavern? Oh, I do! Oh, would you look at that? How about that? If only I had a Wii U gamepad capture card so I could actually show this stuff off. I'm not mad that those things- Oh, we can't get in there with our- Well, this is a fine pickle! Well, ain't this just a good all kept in the dick? Hold on, I, I think I can fit. I think it won't fit. What if I just park it here? <laughs> nah, that works. <laughs> nah. Alright, let's go get some squirrels. Yes! There, there, uh... Is that the strongest super boss? Okay, so this is the wrong cave. I was thinking of a different cave. Oh, I remember why we couldn't get the squirrels. Because the enemies in this area kept killing me. I remember now. They probably will continue to kill me. Because they're... We're on the same level Assholes. as our... Uh, but I think you are right. I think the, uh, the strongest enemy in the game is, uh, a Telethia. Which I still don't know the plot reasoning as to why Telethia are here in this game. Probably isn't plot reasons. But that would make sense. Is it the Telethia? Are there multiple Telethia in this game or is it just the one? I can't remember. The last time I played this game was when it launched and, uh, that was about it. I've never played Xenoblade X. Again, don't. Let's play one and two. You're good. Is it? Really I have just one and one? two. Well, then play them. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh. What, what, what do you do? Have a have a life? No. You're right. I, I don't need say I have a life. Who said I had a life? Who the hell's been lying? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kick their fucking ass. Alright, I'll admit I have no idea what the hell is happening right now, but uh, we're still Me alive. Neither. Uh, I'm gonna get myself a healing aura. Let's see if that'll help a little bit. You need a little bit of health back. I'm gonna go some head on out of here. I almost flipped off the cliff. It's fine. 
sliding slinger all over again. Oh, this is not going well. <laughs> it never oh, leaves. I'm, oh, we are never collecting those squirrels. Yeah, it, admittedly, work, chat, really uh, don't, don't expect a Xenoblade X professional here. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. The only game that I would say I have any confidence in the combat in is Xenoblade 1. I, I, yeah, obviously these QTEs are, you know, a testament to that. God, I can never... Alright, let's go for this. Why not? Fuck. My mistake is I'm also trying to read chat at the same time as this nonsense. You know, not entirely fun. Yeah, so the combat is very similar to Xenoblade 1 in this game. 2 was the one that tried doing different things. Uh, I often feel to its detriment. I, I think this style of combat is better than 2's, and I really hope 3 just goes with this combat. Yeah, we're down here now. But yeah, I, I definitely prefer the Xenoblade 1 and X style of combat. The problem with X that I have, there is just too much to this game. It really just tried to do everything Xenoblade 1 did and just make it bigger. And the problem is, the thing that I like the most about the combat in 1 being team composition, uh, this game does not have. The, the team composition essentially means nothing in this game. Other than, like, battle quotes. And I, I, I don't care for the battle quotes because... It, it's very annoying whenever, like, you set something up, you use an art, and you are like, Alright, cool, I think we're doing good. I set this up well, we're fine. And then all of a sudden your party members are like, Do this art! And you're like, wait, uh, I, I already did it. I just used like, it. Yeah, like, I just do used it that again. art. You're like, do it again! Get a health buff! <laughs> if that's a sta If that is... A plus oh, you. to the game, oh. then I am very. Then that is, my opinion, kind of disappointing. I you still don't understand overtime, fighting. though. I I don't understand overdrive at all. Also, how did Lynn die? When did she die? Okay. Good question. Apparently, Lynn's dead. I, I often like to compare Overdrive's uh, conception to Daro from Guilty Gear. Nobody understands how it works. Even the professionals are just like, I don't know. I don't know. He just like this. I also haven't talked to that many Xenoblade pros. I've talked to a few. And, it, you know, it hurts my brain. I love Xenoblade to death. Xenoblade 1's my favorite game of all time. But uh, this game confuses me. That's why I just wait until I get a skill. And then the game becomes fun. HOW IS EVERYONE DEAD?! Alright, this is gonna be fun- Oh, I'm also almost dead. I don't think we're collecting those squirrels. I think the squirrels can just rot in that cave for all we care. Yeah, yeah. I always forget that I have that quest, and I'm like, Why haven't I done this quest yet? It's just collecting 11 squirrels. Now I remember this. why. <laughs> Ah, this is why I don't want to go after those damn squirrels. Well, I just want to ride my mech! And you could revive the Yes! Yes, I could revive my party members. But the problem is that requires TP. And I want to use my TP to use my arts. So it's essentially, do I want to revive my teammates but not kill the enemy? Or revive my teammates and not kill the enemy? Yeah, it, it's, the same, it's the same idea with like... Kingdom Hearts. Would you? Do you really want to revive Donald, or could you just, you know, not and save? Wait, wait for save him to get back yourself. up. Yeah, which exactly. I mean, granted, Xenoblade X doesn't have that. Your party members won't get back up unless you revive them. But it's like, uh, you want to? especially, especially because consider it this way: Are your party members gonna revive you if you die? No, they're gonna use no. their TP on their arts. Exactly. So, and fair's also, fair. On the topic that I brought up before of I haven't really talked to too many Xenoblade professionals, the few that I have talked to, all of them agree that the optimal strategy for this game is to just not rely on your party members. Like, a lot of the pro st strats for this game is just buff yourself and don't even use party members. Just do things solo. So, it... 
I that is one of the confusing things with this game is why did they get rid of the party gauge? Just why? Give us the party gauge and give us chain attacks. I would even argue that the chain attack system in 2 is better than just not having it. Apparently we can go... Alright, let's go collect some flowers, I guess. The squirrels there are going to be a challenge. Might as well go get flowers. Hey, look, I found, a, I've, I found a plot thing. Plot. See that? See that giant USB drive in the background? That's a plot thing. Ooh. I, I also make plot. the joke that it's a USB drive because um, I can't remember what they're called. The life holds like the big version of that, but I don't remember what the smaller versions are called. Uh, in the collector's edition for this game, they uh, made a USB flash drive that looks exactly like this. That uh, so it's a USB. <laughs> Yes, but you cannot use it as a USB drive. The only thing what? it has on it is it has a um, an application that when you open it, creates its own, it opens up its own like media player. And that media player has a select few songs from the game. It's not even like, hey, here's some MP3 files of the game. No, it like, locks it away behind its own application and you can only oh, play the music because piracy this is nintendo Bear. it's it's really dumb and also the drive only has like 500 megabytes on it Jeez. it's really dumb it's really dumb and yes for those wondering i do i do own it I, I do. The only the only collector's editions for Xenoblade I don't own are funny enough, both collector's editions for Xenoblade 1. I don't own there wasn't a quote unquote collector's edition for Xenoblade on the Wii, but they did do like a special release that came with a red pro controller. I don't have that. As much as I would like that red pro controller. Uh and then they also had the special edition for Xenoblade Definitive Edition. I don't own that because it was scalped to oblivion. And also, I tried getting the European version because that one's better. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't have any of those. Okay, so we need Flowering Morrows. Sorry, I gotta actually Google where these items are. Welcome to the Xenoblade experience. I would be Googling. But he already... No, shut up, Google. Do not activate Google Assistant, <laughs> please. We already did that earlier in the stream. Mine okay. just tried to turn on. We need to go to site 218. I, I saw its lights flashing and I immediately was like, no, you don't, I'm you bitch. I'm at 222. Where's 218? Do I even have that? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. What are we at on time while I look for this? Oh no. Because if we're at like three and a half hours, I think it might be good to uh, go on break. So I also. Okay, apparently I do not have FN Site 218. Neat! Nice! So apparently these Very flowers are neat. Cool. Uh. Whoa, Xenoid Wiki, do you have a map? Nah. I mean, technically, technically, I also have the Xenoblade uh, guidebook, which sucks. The Xenoblade X guidebook sucks. But, uh, of course. All right, cool. Well, I guess we'll just go look for it. Uh, let me look. Oh, yeah, we're... Three hours and forty-five minutes. We're we're gonna go. We're gonna go to break. Uh, Cause I also need to use the restroom. So, uh, chat. Bathroom break. We're gonna go to break real quick. Let's go crazy. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the restroom real quick. Uh, ask questions. Right. Keyblade, answer them. Q and A <laughs> time. Q and A. Oh boy. Let me be thine answer? 
you for those who seek knowledge, may I bestow upon thee knowledge. Possibly unneeded knowledge, but knowledge nonetheless. No, this is Patrick. Next question. <laughs> question that doesn't exist next question <laughs> yeah he's kind of an ass next question <laughs> I hope no one's actually taking this to heart. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? Oh, of course they are. Alright, what I miss? Questions. <laughs> <laughs> I've been answering questions. Okay. Sorry, I grabbed a cookie on my way past the, the kitchen. Cookie. Yeah, so, just been, my, just been. my ass isn't fat enough, so I need a cookie. I managed to run the chat out of questions. Hell yeah. Dang, that's impressive. I did it. I did the thing. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I was about to suggest a question, but I don't know if we want to... If we want this stream to catch on fire more than I've already ignited the it. Fact that Considering the fact that I've been kind of giving them bullshit questions anyways, or bullshit answers, let's see it. Best Xenoblade waifu and why is it Mithra? Go. Bitchy attitude. That's not a character! It is to me. <laughs> I was mostly asking who's like, what's everyone's favorite. Z you know what? We'll we'll, we'll, well you, change you, the you question. Asked who's ever who is there? What's everyone's favorite Xenoblade character? Ooh, that one's a tough one, actually. Like just in general, for me, it mm, it have to be either. Z it probably have to be like Zeke, Adam, or Joel. I know, I'm basic. I mean, you know more, more about the characters than I do, purely because of the fact that I'm not very far in either one or two. So I guess out of the ones that I do know, I would have to say... Actually, yeah, that is a tough one for me still. <laughs> I mean, Mithra, Mithra genuinely is a favorite character of mine just because I like the character study that she entails right um but also this is the internet so having that conversation would be immediately be leads on to a different it would immediately thought process lead altogether. into oh yeah mithra big boobs right which is kind of one reason why i'm hesitant on saying mine Ooh, alvis is a good choice too that's hmm. You know, I just don't realize Xenoblade What's is that? Xenoblade is, is incredibly sexist. Uh, it it plays favoritism to all of the uh, silver-haired men, but when it comes to the silver-haired women, oh, they get shit onto oblivion. <laughs> I mean, say it, say it with me, everyone. Poor Melia. <laughs> or you could also replace it with poor Nia. He goes hand in hand. Why do you think they're the antagonists of Xenoblade 3? It actually right. does bring it up. I do like Nia. Oh yeah, no, Nia is absolutely a favorite. I, I yes. 
Uh, See, I don't know enough about Xenoblade X's story, so fair point. Uh, fuck, I think for me it'd be... Probably Shulk, Nia, and Pyra. That's like my top three. You are part of a problem. With Ryan being close fourth. You are the problem. Uh, I like the char character's personality. You're the right. problem! That doesn't make what it a, better! What, what f part of the problem, good sir? Do you know why? Okay, I'm gonna... Major spoilers for Xenoblade t for Torna. You, you, Pyra was literally created because Mithra hates herself so much and everyone else hates her. So they're like, hey, can you just like make a better version of yourself and like go away forever? And she made Pyra. And guess what? Everyone likes Pyra more. I so am I also basing this on my, my, per my progress with the game. Well, I mean, again, this is all based on Torna, so... It's part of the reason why I, I I say I like Mithra legitimately in Xenoblade, because I like that concept of... I, she's essentially a, a god suffering from dissociative identity disorder. Right. And I find like, that interesting. That is an interesting concept. But, again, I'm basing this off my personal progress. But throughout again, the games. she's a nice lady, and Mithra isn't. No, I, I, to I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. Uh, again, I understand. that. That's literally Pyra's entire existence. Her entire existence is to just be more likable than Mithra. That, that's that's absolutely what it is. That, that it, it makes sense why people I mean, like her more. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I do like Mithra from what I've seen of it. Oh, Mainly she is a because snob. I, I'm not I'm not denying that well, she that, is kind of a bitch. Well, yeah, and that's the reason why I like her. I for some reason my some of my personal favorite characters kind of are the bitch of the game. Yeah. I mean, half the fun of Torna is just everyone ripping Mithra a new one. Like, it, like every cutscene is just Mithra opens her mouth, everyone slam dunks her. And it's hilarious. Like, I want to- it's one of those things where it's like, I want to see poor Mithra, but at the same time, she opens her mouth and encourages this, these reactions. Anyway, so let's get back to the game. While my stingers break. What else is new? Yeah, they always break. Could always be the signs. It could always be worse. Someone could have said it was the what? potato. Well, I mean, that's why we had, that's why we had to build an entirely second computer for streaming. Oh, I was talking about top two. What about top? Oh, favorite characters. Oh, oh yeah, Tatsu is my favorite Xenoblade character. Absolutely. Xenoblade X would be nothing if it wasn't for Tatsu. That's why you get Drew getting kicked by a soul. <laughs> yeah, that's why the. He's just, that's why he's the just your ult ultimate favorite. Oh, he's so he's totally my favorite. Totally. Yeah, I, I I would argue. Yeah, I probably say those are probably my three favorite Xenoblade characters. All right, well, I almost wonder if it would be better for us to just explore the map for the rest of the stream and uh, get more probes. It might be. Just to at least be able to tra travel. Yeah, because easily. Part of, part of the struggle of this game is not being. Oh, what? How did I miss this probe? Oh, it's probably too uh, too high of a level for me. Oh, this is 209. This is not what we're looking for. I don't know how I missed that one. 
it's got low level enemies. How did I? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Is there a cave over here? Oh my god, there's a cave. What is this? Hello. I actually don't know what this is. All right. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh god, I ran over level 42 enemies. <laughs> Oops. Why? Oh. Why are you running them over? Oh, I forgot there's an NPC. Yeah. Even so, Banna's a character in two, but there's just a, like a random Nopon in one that's named Banna. Is that the Nopon that has to do with the red pollen orb? Like a gam or uh, not gam? The uh, like the drug cartel quest? Yeah. Mm. Uh, as much as I want to just drive my way through that cave, uh, one of those enemies gets mad enough and and it fights us. Uh, our skills blowing up. Uh, so I believe Banna is in Xenoblade One, but it's not the same Banna. It, it's like a random side character. It, it's like they just share the same name. Fuck it. I have insurance. Let's do it. Oh, this was a mistake. Oh, God! Wait, that was it? Oh, hi. Oh, okay. This is a... This is a place. Are these... Are these nice enemies? Will you murder me if you look at me? No, you won't. Okay, cool. Oh, God, but you will! I didn't even see that bug! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Uh-oh! Oh! Oh, no! Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Alright. Oh, there's a level 60! Oh, this was a bad idea! Oh, this was, was a really bad idea! I don't- I'm not blaming it on chat. This was my- This was my own vul- Yeah, this was my own idea. Chat- Chat just encouraged me. I'm not blaming this on chat. Don't worry. This is my fault. Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay. Alright. Don't step on anything. Except for these enemies. It's fine. Okay. Oh, so... It, wow. That... Talk about dedication. So it is the Kingpin. Okay, I do remember that side quest. There's a side quest in Xenoblade 1 where essentially busting a drug cartel. And apparently Banna is in that. Which is very fitting, giving Banna and Xenoblade 2. It's not the same character, but very fitting. Alright, well, I guess we'll just try to get as many probes as we can for the rest of the stream and explore the map. Or, you know, I could just fall. That works, too. I love it. So it looks like there's two probes over here I haven't gotten a hold of. That's right, I remember. Yeah, because you have to, like, catch him in, like, the far corner of Magna Forest. Oh, I remember that. Oh, wow. Hey, look, I found those flowers we were supposed to be looking for. <laughs> what are the odds? Yay. I I swear, I it's, like, it's almost as if uh, this shit just happens because, you know, life wants to troll me. This is dang dang dirty trolls. Oh, one of the other things I forgot to mention about Skells, uh, because you are a bigger target, uh, enemies that were much bigger than you, that uh, normally wouldn't attack you, now will. So remember those giant uh, dinosaur-like enemies that were in Primordia, that you know wouldn't yep. really worry about you? Now if they see you, uh, they may attack you. You pose as threat. All right, admittedly, I have not touched Future Connected yet, uh, but that's amazing that he just goes under the name Bama. That is genius. Yeah, Future Connected is Future Connected and X are the only things Xenoblade related I have not beaten. And the only reason why I haven't done Future Connected yet is because I told myself I was going to beat Definitive Edition 
before I did Future Connected, and I beat it. And then rather than playing Future Connected, I beat Torna. So I'm Fair almost enough. ready for three. I, I mean, granted, I should have just done Future Connected first because I've beaten the original Xenoblade at least once on every system it's re-released on. Yes, I own the Virtual Console re-release of Xenoblade 1 on the Switch, even though I already own a physical Wii disc of Xenoblade 1. You know, so technically, I have two different ways of playing Xenoblade 1 on the Wii U. I'm insane. I'm also the guy who keeps buying copies of Okami every time they re-release it. Yeah, so we can't really say much. Yeah, I just double dip on everything. I have a problem. Equip a warrior ray gun and hunt two raging Simeus and knock the run. Alright, I guess we'll do this quest. I wonder. I'm gonna try this, actually. What if... We equip that weapon, but stay in our skill. I've actually never beaten Okami either. Even though I own like six copies of the game, never beaten it. It's a fantastic game though. I, I would argue it's, some people are gonna get mad at me for saying this. I think it's one of the best platinum games. Yes, I know it's not platinum, it's Clover Studios, but Clover Studios became platinum. Oh, but... It's, it's Hideki yeah, Kamiya uh... either way. So it still works. It, uh, that, that's like, yeah, that's like saying Devil May Cry is not a quote-unquote platinum game. Yes, it's published by Capcom, but like, it was Clover Studios. Is it? Wow, Future Connected shorter than Torna? Torna was like 30 hours? So I think we need the Warrior Ray Gun. I don't know if we can use ray guns uh do i even have the warrior ray gun i i maybe it's because i did a lot of exploration but i think i beat torn on like 35 hours yeah 15 that that sounds about right if you're just speeding through it yeah that sounds about right what does it say on uh, how long to beat? Fact check me so I'm not uh, spreading misinformation. Do I not have the warrior ray gun? I don't even have that weapon. Yeah, I don't even. I, I don't even have that weapon. Good. Guess we're not doing that side quest. Forget it. We're just gonna. We're just gonna explore. I must have just taken my time. I don't. I should probably check how long I, my uh, it took me to beat Torna. Granted, my uh, my playtime is all messed up on Xenoblade 2 because I've played a lot of it on both my Switch and my Switch Lite, and the way that Nintendo does the playtime is it's based on your primary system. So even though like my Switch will tell me, oh yeah, you've put. 200 hours in the Xenoblade 2. It's technically like 300 because I put a lot of time into the Switch, playing it on my Switch Lite. It doesn't count that. Yeah, that's always a weird one. It's just Nintendo being Nintendo. I mean, it, admittedly. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong, I love Nintendo and I love the Switch, but like... There's so many things that I feel like the Switch would be better off having, and Nintendo just won't do it. Like, Miiverse. Yeah. I, I genuinely like Miiverse. Street Pass. God, why is that not Ooh. on the Switch? Seriously, right? why is that not on the Switch? It's a portable system. I don't remember. That is strange. I don't remember. Can I... Is there an exit to this cave? Am I gonna die if I walk in here? Yes! Oh god, yes! Oh yes, yes! Oh yes, yes, yes! Daddy doesn't like- Ah! Get me the fuck out of here! Ah! Alright, we're never going the fuck in there ever again! 
Fuck that room, fuck that cave, we ain't doing it. Ooh, good luck on getting... Good luck on getting her. I waited till New Game Plus. I don't remember this path at all. We never went this way. Also, hey, a nice little uh, homage to Xenoblade 1 and the Nopon architecture. I don't think I was supposed to be on this with my scale. What are you talking about? It looks good. All right, Elizabeth, thank you for joining, by the way. I, I didn't... Uh, have a good one. Yeah, I, I didn't make uh, a scene of it before, but it showed that you were a first-time chatter, so thank you for hanging out with us and uh, and chatting. I appreciate it. Hope, hope you had fun. Yeah. Okay, so apparently, I need to go up that way to get to a probe. At, at this point, that's just what we're going to do. We're just going to explore, try to get as many probes as we can. Uh, also, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yay. I'm going the wrong way. We need to go this way. How the f How do I get up there? Even in my big roll, but I don't know where to go. God dang! This is the problem that I have with this is the problem I have with Xenoblade X specifically. Is like, I'll look at the map, like, okay, I need to go this way. How do I get up there? Actually, I lied. I had the same problem with two. I, I will admit, I did have that Get same problem with two. One, I never really had that issue with exploring the maps. Oh, with one, you at least got a lot like, better with it. I, I think it's yeah. just the map system's better in one. Two, that is an issue that a lot of people had when the game came out, was the map system was not great. They eventually patched it and made it better. Um, yeah, the, the, the map system was not the best. Right. Yeah, no, that, that's the thing. Every Xenoblade game has that. Every Xenoblade game has so many, like, cool terrain to uh, explore. The problem is, I just, I just felt like 2 was harder to explore. Just due to, well, for one, the... Um, the blades having specific abilities that you needed to have just to explore the map that was one of the things that made it hard to explore uh i have the same issue with x how like you needed a skull in order to explore a lot of these parts like yes we are having an easier time exploring with our skull it's going to get even easier once we get the flight module can i not get up here can i actually not get up here oh my god I cannot get up there. Good. Oh wait, no, hold on. I think I found it. I think I found how to, how to do this. I gotta, just gotta. Yeah, you, you yeah, you need, you need a uh, level 16 fire or like, you need, oh, the dark miasma specifically. Cause dark type blades are so hard to get a hold of. Those are the ones that were the worst. It's like, you need level eight. Dark mastery in order to get past this thing. That that was one of the things that I did Kingdom not Hearts. like. Wait, what? What about Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> that was just sounding like Kingdom Hearts. That's what that's what the monkey had to go through. <laughs> the dark miasma. Yeah, level sixteen darkness and all that. I don't. I. It's. Is it sad to say that we beat Terra's campaign for LPCP like? I don't know, two weeks ago, or no, two months ago, and I just, I don't remember any of it. Nah. Nah. Mainly because the best, the most important thing to remember about it is just his ending. Which I don't even remember that much. I would say it, but I'm not sure how many people actually played Birth by Sleep. Especially Terra's story, I was so. Say, it's, it's Kingdom Hearts. You could explain the entire lore, and I don't think anyone would understand. Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Knowing you, you would be like, alright, alright, fuckers. Alright. While, <laughs> while Blues gets his ass kicked by flowers, let's talk about the Kingdom Hearts lore. <laughs> alright, fuckos. Open your textbooks where you're about to learn. 
That, that's just me and the Guilty Gear story. Sad thing is, I actually did do an entire, like, stream series going over the lore of Guilty Gear's story. And we actually used the encyclopedia! I should not be giving you shit for this. Oh, and the I know, sad thing is, you want to know the saddest part? I don't, I don't normally that? talk about analytics on my channel, because frankly, I don't care. Like, if this, if this channel succeeds or not, it doesn't matter. I'm having fun. Uh, that Guilty Gear, like, lore series? is the most successful thing I've ever done on the internet, literally ever. Like, counting my YouTube channel, counting everything, it is the most successful thing I've ever done. People and just I, really wanted to learn about <laughs> Guilty Gear. Well, yeah, because it was right before Strive came out, so people probably were interested in the lore. <laughs> okay, apparently I can get up this way. I am not fighting those flowers, I don't, I don't care enough. God damn it! It sucks! Excuse me, sir, could you stop? Could you stop shooting my, sir, my mech? Sir, S stop sir? shooting my ass. Here comes some more oh my god. What do you want? Might be don't it might be jump. very shiny metal, but it don't don't, don't shoot it. Don't don't ruin my Oh god damn it, no! <laughs> it stunned me over the cliff! It stunned me over the cliff! Oh. I... I love this game. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna take my anger out on this thing. Get, get <laughs> fucked! <laughs> It's just like it's just like looking at it like whoa. whoa it's man, just sleeping hell? and all of a sudden it just gets a giant sword. This is what we just call like, the what the hell? Monk. Stop having wet dreams. I, I was just having a dream about doing my taxes. <laughs> Who dreams about doing their taxes? I'm f I'm fairly certain there's some people out there. I mean, I, I call I call them insane. Well, I was gonna say, like, people have dreams about work. I, I would know. I've had it. So I guess if it stresses you out that much, yeah, taxes and... So... <laughs> I can't keep my back <laughs> I mean, it is you my private property. Private... You are... <laughs> Sir, this is private property. I'm calling the police. Given, given the fact that those plants were shooting seeds at us, I was gonna make a, a joke, but I figured, you know, we're, we're sophisticated here. I don't- I don't As need about- them. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that was a joke! That was poking fun at myself! Yes, I am not above making a don't shoot your seed at me joke. I was gonna say, considering the fact that you were saying that the lizard that you had to take your anger out was having a wet dream. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I get it! I am not above dumb jokes like that. It's basically half my comedy. At least yours is half. Ryan's probably three quarters. <laughs> I'm gonna say, why? Why do you think people hate my jokes? Yeah, there's a reason why everyone ignores me when I make my jokes. That, wow. Well, you know, almost, I was I was expecting a, I was expecting you to be like, yeah, that's not true, but all right, let's go with it. I'm gonna miss this well, joke. I mean, I'm. Yeah. Oh, I mean, look, I it's these guys again. Hey, look, good. plants. Oh, good, my favorite. All right, well, we're back where we were before, and the game is having some frame rate issues. All right, let's see if we can get back Hell up here again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, frame rate issues. The problem is the jumping on the, the scale is uh, not, not very forgiving. Yeah, I, I know, I, I remember this area, so I was like, all right, don't fall off the cliff this time. And thankfully, I didn't. Now I wow, this place my... looks so familiar. It's oh, fine, it's Elma. I don't need to worry about the giant whip scorpion who is probably going to murder all of us. <laughs> Primarily you guys first. Yeah, except, yeah just you guys. You, you guys a, are the bait. Yeah, <laughs> you guys I have are the, the bait. giant mech suit. You know what? Ooh, actually, no. There are more than one here. That's the thing I noticed. You can fight higher level enemies. Like we could probably take out these guys. You know, these level thirty-four enemies in our scale. Uh, but once they gang up on you, then it then the story changes. <laughs> 
Oh, once they, once like, they gang up on you, uh, you best to just run. Like this, this guy over here. What the f- That is one messed up deer. I want to ride it in my mech. <laughs> See if I can make this jump. Uh, oh, there's a tree. Tree saved me. Hell yeah. All right, cool. We did it. We actually made it over here. Can I? Is this? Am I? Am I allowed to be here? I don't think so. The consensus that I've always gotten from Xenoblade is, you see it, you can go there. I mean, that's that's how I pitched the game to my friends back in high school. That's exactly how you pitched it to me. Yeah, that's that's yep. <laughs> see, see that big robot? Yeah, you see, you see, it's neat. You can go there. It's sword. Uh, it has an entire I... city on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, it's what we call Sword Valley. Exactly. All right, I, I, I. Oh no! Oh. Uh I give up, that's Ball. it. <laughs> End the stream here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I give up. More deal it's to white. Oops. Maybe. That that does sound like a similar naming uh, idea. Because, yeah, like, Xerneas is uh, going on the joke of its Pokemon X and... Yeah, X sounds like the letter X. No, that, that that probably is part of the idea. Okay, I get the feeling we need to go up there. Oh, well, I, uh... Hi! Hello. You... Uh, hello! You, you, guys, <laughs> hello. you guys good? All right, I guess we're fighting. Hold on, sir. Bonk. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love it! Get fucked! Hey, they picked the fight first. <laughs> Not my problem, I stepped on him. I was gonna say, well, you did step on him. It's not, not my fault. I mean, I'm, I'm the giant robot. How am I supposed to see him? Nice work. True. It's fine. And they also couldn't... Ha they could have also spared their lives and not just start Yeah, shooting. you know, they, they could have just... They could have just they, not. They chose their fate. They chose their fate. I think we need to get up there. But I don't know how, and I don't have the flight module. Is it not that bridge? That I mean, yes, but how do I get... I gotta, oh, I gotta go up there. But the problem is the bridge is so small. Okay, hold on, let's follow the bridge. Eight tiny steps? <laughs> I tried that, and I fell. Because my dump truck mech ass... It's too, <laughs> it's too thick! We're literally driving a dumpy. That's what we should have called the. That's what we should have called the scale. We should have called it the dumpy. <laughs> that's what we're calling it now. <laughs> calling it the dumpy. <laughs> Dump truck. Oh god. Sad thing is, like, this is one of my favorite. Uh, you know. That's one of my favorite jokes from uh, Steven Plays. They made an entire mini game based on the uh, the the dump trucks in GTA. Which is funny because I remember GTA. I nearly alerted the guards. <laughs> the, the clap of my mechanical my ass, ass cheeks. Colonel. <laughs> oh, Van Dam. I'm trying to. <laughs> Trying to drive around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my mechanical ass cheats keeps alerting the guards. <laughs> just imagine Van Dam answers that call. He's just like, "God, now I'm not revoking just gave your me the... skill license." Oh God, that just reminded me. MGS4, you actually drove a Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look. A super boss! Huh! Eat. <laughs> That's cool. I'm go this way. <laughs> wow, I don't really have shit on this game. Oh, hey! I forgot about this! 
Not gonna go in there. <laughs> doop a doop a doop. Look at I spawn and I see that many enemies all just staring at me. I just turn around and be like, no. Look no at this I don't think I'm gonna play this game today. Look at, look at this strut. You know, I mean, just we'll watch your this. feet. Let's fight this guy. Just watch watch your feet. You may you may alert more guards. That's fine. We're gonna fight this guy. I didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped it would. Oh god. Well, that broke that. Why was my overdrive extended? Don't know, don't care. Shoulder bash it. Alright. I will be surprised if we actually kill this thing. Actually, everyone would get a good level up out of that. That overdrive was not the best, but it's fine. I mean, this thing's only the fact that you're the one in the back. Than us, so we should and you're in a okay. robot. That too. Actually, we need a. You know, we've only got like. 40 minutes left of the stream. We really need to find like an objective and do it. All right, do we just explore the map? Do we do some quests? Or should we try to grind and get some skills for the rest of our party? That would make our entire party better. But the problem is we need money. Right. I don't know. I think we'll get more money if we uh, get more probes. But the problem is, the only areas we haven't explored are Silvalum and Caldros. Fuck it, those will be easier areas to explore. We should probably just explore those. We should just get more probes. Yeah. I, I, I think that's the best strategy. That'll work. Are they even doing any damage to this thing? I feel like my party members are doing know. nothing. I just don't realize that. Oh, I missed. How did I miss? Distracted by your by your dunk truck? Yeah. <laughs> just sit on him. <laughs> they might I like hate, it, so you gotta know. I hate the concept of like these super cool robots having fucking giant ass cheeks. I hate it. I hate the concept. What's funny is that that's not how I was picturing it. It's just since we're talking about robot, the first thing I'm actually thinking about is literally just dump truck. The actual vehicle. <laughs> it just has like a dump. It just transforms into a dump truck. It that's, what, that's why it's called the Dumpy, because it has a car mode. It just turns into a dump truck. No, that's better. Exactly. I was think I was thinking with the wrong head. I'm trying to bind it, but instead I'm jumping. We are gonna knock this thing off the cliff. Well, you we know how well that worked with Ted. Well, it, yeah. Yeah, it might. You know, it Hold might work. On. Hold on. It's working. This is working. Oh my god, it worked. Yes. <laughs> Turns around. Well, I mean, this isn't this isn't like a story boss, so you know, it's fine. It's fine. No. I I know what I'm doing. I'm a Xenoblade professional. Get mm -hmm. fucked. God, this thing is not moving much. I think this thing's got a bigger dumpy than us. It is, it is like, it is, this thing is just on air. It is just on air. I hate everything Fuck about you. this. You try cheating, I cheat too. Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. There we go. Did it die? Is it dead? Uh, I can't. T oh, no, the party went down there. Why are they down there? It's still alive. I hate this. It's still alive. God damn it. I'm just... Everyone else is down there. Please. Now you got two uh, followers. Oh, fuck it. 
sure. Alright, let's... Oh, and it's in the water, too. Wait, Lau... How did Lau die? Probably fell... Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. I might die, too. Yeah, I think falling off the cliff was a bad idea. Yeah, this might have been a bad idea. Uh, admittedly. Yeah, this might have been a really dumb idea. I think I should have followed it. Yep. Yeah, that was a dumb idea. It's fine. You know what? I got this. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. We can, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it on foot. We don't. It's fine. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need oh, the dumpy. Okay. Okay. You know what? Mm. We uh, might need a dumpy. No, it, yeah, okay. All of that would have been avoided if I would not have jumped off the cliff. Okay. All okay. of that would have been avoided if your party members didn't go with them. <laughs> to be fair, I did it too, so... Yeah, but who, but who followed first? Why? Oh, I forgot. I actually had a quest just equipped. Quest equipped? Is that the right term? Accepted. I mean, some... There's... Oh, yeah, it's because we gotta do the warrior ray gun, which I don't even have that weapon. Alright, let's go get our scale back. Which, hopefully, we have insurance. If we don't have insurance, hopefully. I don't know if we're getting another scale. <laughs> Well, because <laughs> it's a lot of money to get them prepared. Oh, we have Max Moranium. Let's donate that while we I just, on. I just kind of thought of that. If we don't have the money, then we literally just went, spent this entire time trying to get a skull, only for it to don't be destroyed. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We probably have insurance. Probably, we it's the probably key to do. It, it's fine. Don't worry, okay? We didn't. We 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 equipped the dumpy for a reason, you know. That that extra side gig on the weekends, you know, the dumpy the dumpy pays itself. See, look at that. Insurance replaced our skill. Look at that, you know. For how much longer? You For do, how much you, longer? You, you do a good. We don't worry about that. You do a good job, and the the the, the pimp takes care hey. of you. <laughs> he takes care of his dumpies. <laughs> All right. What? I want to meet a pimp who legitimately calls <laughs> his host his. Dumpies. It's dumpies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I just thought of that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It's just dumpies. <laughs> oh, that's These amazing. These are my dumpies. <laughs> <laughs> Take your pick. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is wrong with us? What the hell's wrong with me? Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean the quest is I like encourage that? it, so therefore, us. Us. This is a team effort. <laughs> this is a team effort. Oh, my God. Okay, apparently the quest is not over here. All right, whatever. I'm not accepting the quest anyways. We're going we're gonna to go, we're gonna go explore Silvalum. Listen to good music. Oh god. Yeah, but it's bad because whenever I think of a pimp, I just think of a character from a game. Oh hello! Speaking of dumpies, <laughs> god damn. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to Silvalum. Uh, that wasn't a dumpy. That was just the ankle. <laughs> damn girl, you got them ankles. You got the- Damn, girl, you got them dumpy ankles. Oh, God, stop! Alright, we're done. We're done. We're done. We've taken it too far. Alright. Oh, Sorry. Jesus. Has everyone left the stream yet? I- I think you should. Alright.
Okay. Oh hi! Look at that! Look at that! Look at him! That's a that's a fine man over there. Don't want to mess with him. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, we're probably gonna get a lot of experience through. Oh, level 55 gators. Good. Good. Yeah, remember oh, so when we're I in said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, remember when I said that uh, Silvalum's an area we probably should be exploring right now? Mm, case in point. But also, one of my favorite weapons it's in quite the Florida. Oh, level 51 unique monster. Good. Good. Raptors. Good. Just gonna strut my stuff and not worry about. Oh, these things are protecting the. Right. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. No, you, you gentlemen. Mm, hap, hap, enjoying your oh, Friday my night. <laughs> my ladies. Tips. My gators. Fedora. Oh, I think those are chickens. All right. The chickens. <laughs> All right. Let me. Let me probe. Oh, sir, you are looking in the wrong fucking direction. Sir? Can I... I think I have to be out of my scale to probe this. I'm just gonna do it very slowly. <laughs> oh, they actually won't attack me if I'm not in my scale. Oh, yeah. You're too yeah. small for them. I'm too small. Look at that. See? There's a benefit to not being in your scale. Alright, don't fuck with me. <laughs> Please don't, I'm very fragile. Don't, yeah, don't fuck with me. <laughs> These Just cheeks don't. are fragile. Too far? No. <laughs> Alright. All right. Hold on, if you're saying that's too far, <laughs> then what the hell did I say? I was I... like, okay, okay. Time to stop. Yeah. Oh, I knew that was an enemy. I fucking. You know what? It's level 33. We can take it. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. I'm already regretting my decisions. This was a mistake. This was, this was Not even 10 mistake. seconds into the battle, ladies and gentlemen. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I I can handle this. I can handle this. I can handle this. We are a giant robot. We oh. Oh! Oh, it's shit! Oh! Oh, it's shit's oh. nasty! That's a nasty shit right there! Oh, boy! Alright. Alright. Okay. Yep, we are not dealing with that boy. That man, that, that boy had Taco Bell. What's this game's rating? Hold on, I don't actually remember. Let me go check. <laughs> It is rated T for teen for animated blood, language, suggestive themes, use of alcohol, and violence. So everything. So everything. Except for, well, I mean suggestive themes. Okay, there is a probe up here. And I know you can get up there. Then it should be... Uh-oh! Hi! Oh, it's you! Oh, I ain't dealing with your nasty farts. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I, I was gonna make a joke and say, well, if that if this is rated T, then why the hell is another game rated M when you can literally see that shit? Oh, that is bad. oh god! Ah! Oh god! Damn it! Ah! No, what? Wah! Ah! Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here! <laughs> the oh, okay. dumpy... The dumpy has been destroyed again. Yep. How long did we last? Well... 10 minutes? It's fine, we have insurance. It's okay. <laughs> dump humor. Here we endorse dump humor. That's what we'll call it. All right, we're gonna try what we can on foot, I guess. We are gonna burn through those insurance cards. Oh, hell yeah. We are gonna burn through them. 
But hey, on the bright side, our skill has full fuel. Hello, sir. Don't worry about me. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. to see you too. See you. See you back at the office. The, the, the dumpy has maximum fuel. <laughs> Oh, I hate that it's called uh, the next scale we get. We're calling it the dumpy. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> oh. I hate. I hate. Uh, fuck you! Fuck! Fuck off! I, I just want the probe. Look, it's right there. Fuck off! Just let me probe. Damn it. Well, we at least got the. Oh, oh, yeah! Look at you, your spinny, spinny beak. Oh, so cool. Just want the <laughs> fucking probe. Rotating beak. I just want the probe. Just let me probe it, just a little bit, just a tip. Just a tip. You fucking beat me to it. <laughs> Oh, once again, this channel, this channel is uh, a friendly reminder as to why I sh I will be forever single. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Oh, 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 oh! Look at you! You Sir. were in the, you were in the ground. You were sleeping. You couldn't hear me. I'm a, we're fucking ants at this point. So much damage, and there's gonna be another one right in front of me. It's right there. I can see it. I didn't alert it. Good. Somehow. It's fine. Just get in the cave. Just get in the cave. I'm sure nothing will kill probe. me in the get cave. The probe. Probe, probe. 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 Probe that shit. <laughs> ah! Why are there <laughs> bugs? Oh! They knew. They fucking knew. Get in the cave. Get in the cave. Ah! In case you to save you from bugs. LAVA! <laughs> ah, I'm a unique monster! <laughs> this is Pikmin It is absolutely Pikmin 2 design. <laughs> just, just, it. Uh, all we need is the water rates and we're- This is Pikmin 2. Fuck. <laughs> rub that shit, rub oh. that shit. Oh, why are there bugs? Oh the cave, my the cave, god! The cave. <laughs> you know, I should I should have known the it's called Lava Lake. I'm like, oh, there's probably gonna be lava in here. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I don't even have my scale anymore. Probe that shit. Probe that shit. Oh, why are there bugs in the cave? In the cave? In the cave? Oh, 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 oh lava! <laughs> This is the Xenoblade X experience. I'm gonna be brutally honest. This is the Xenoblade X experience. Oh. I, okay. I have, Pikmin 2 is the only game in the series I haven't played. I've watched Let's Plays on it. Um, and I, I wanna get it. My local game store has a GameCube copy. Problem is, it's like two hundred dollars. I'm like, ah, I don't have the money. Oh, this looks safe. Oh, that definitely looks safe. That's totally not an enemy guarding that. Oh, as oh, that's probably not a unique monster. Probably not. That looks safe, Tersicore. Okay, well, lower level than I expected it to be. Yeah, I want to play Pikmin 2. You know, considering the fact that the uh, Wii U eShop's going down, I believe Pikmin 2 is on there. I may get a copy. I, I know here. Pikmin 1 is because I have Pikmin 1 on my Wii U. So do if I. 2's on there, I may pick up a copy. Just because I know the eShop's going down soon, so I need to get as many digital games as I can. Because the Wii U has a lot of good games on the virtual console. Oh, look. Level 43 enemies protecting the probe. Is it? Okay, yeah. I'll have to pick up two on the Wii U eShop. As much as I want that- That fucker's looking right at me. Yeah, I- uh, That's actually the reason why I bought the, uh... I bought Pikmin on the Wii U. Because I've played the GameCube one religiously. Um, but everyone kept telling me, Oh, you gotta get the Wii version. So, I'm actually... 
Spoilers, I'm working on a YouTube Let's Play of Pikmin, and I wanted to see the differences between the Wii and GameCube version, since I, I'm so familiar with the GameCube one, and I don't know, maybe it's just nostalgia, but I I like both controls. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually like both. Um, I understand why people like the Wii controls, because it's a bit, you know, more precise, but I also just like the GameCube controls because it's not motion controls. So I, I absolutely understand both. Wait. Those enemies hey, disappeared as soon as I installed that probe. Now why are we probing the enemies? <laughs> why not? Cause fuck it, why not? Ha. Right, I'm Ted Fuck he's, It. He's back. <laughs> Ted Fuck It's back. He's gonna sell you probes. No, he's not just gonna sell him. He's gotcha. gonna he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna to probe you for himself. Oh god. <laughs> Ever wanted to get some important information from someone? Well I got the perfect product for you. Introducing Hi. the data probe. I'm Todd Fuck Shove it. this thing up their rectum and, and get that date that precious, precious data. Mm-hmm. Cause you fuck gotta it, love why that not? data. <laughs> gotta love that data. You gotta love that data. <laughs> uh, I I, I remember the let's plays I watched of, of Pikmin 2 like people were that game is ruthless It's also got some very odd product placement All right, don't be alarmed We're probably gonna die in here But it's it's fine. It's just okay. got it. Just got to be careful and but not who get wants a life alert. anyways? I know, right? We're robots. We can just exactly. We, just we may be, we one. may have spine juice, but that doesn't mean we're, we we need a life. Dang. Don't they don't they actually go into that in in MGR? Of like our robot so. people. <laughs> Shit! God damn it! I don't remember. I don't know. I I never beat MGR. I beat it, but that was a few years ago. Did you see that they uh, they added mods to Guilty Gear Strive that makes Kai Raiden? Here comes some more hey. oh, but I do remember you showing me a picture of uh, Guilty Gear mods where they replaced Kai with Sora. Yeah, they, they gave Kai a Keyblade and gave him Sora's Kingdom Hearts 2 outfit. And then with uh, Giovanna, they gave her Aqua's outfit. Oh god, are there ROM hacks in Pikmin 2? Please tell me they don't make the game harder. Yeah, I genuinely love the Pikmin series, and Pikmin 2 I want to play, but I also haven't beaten 3 yet. I also never beat Hey Pikmin. Everybody, everybody remember Hey Pikmin? Yeah, I remember Hey Pikmin. Oh god, that is, that is, weird. That is Sadistic. Make Pikmin 2 harder. I mean, to be fair, there are a lot of ROM hacks out there of classic games that are literally designed to just be balls to the wall, near impossible, and rage inducing. You know, this brings up. Pikmin 2 is the game that always brings up this topic to me, uh, or for me. To those in this conversation who, you know, regularly watch let's plays do you often associate those projects with part of your own personal life because for me like when i think of pikmin 2 i specifically think of stephen george's let's play of it and i remember binging that when i first moved out of my parents house at 18 and i just remember spending my weekends putting together ikea furniture while binging their lp like that's those are my fondest experiences with pikmin 2. does anybody else get that with certain games Certain like, games with a lot of like you'll associate a like let's play. Yeah, okay. I, maybe maybe that's just me because I I do watch the majority of the content I watch I, on I, YouTube is let's play. Let's play. Yeah, no, I'm I'm with you there. I tend to do the same, and there are times where I'll try like I'll watch uh another person's LP of the same game just to see like different reactions, but. A lot of the time, I just associate it with, with at least one person. 
Well, and also, at least for me, like, oh, hello. Um, that is uh, TOS. <laughs> my god. I think it's a worm. Alright. Um, I think I've been outside. I, uh, I, I also list when it comes to, like, the Let's Plays that I watch, a lot of times I just listen to it while, like, while I'm at work. Um, because I, I just like the commentary. Oh my god, it, you know, it might. Yeah. It might. I doubt it, but I'm, it might. Um, we'll just say it is. Yeah, I, I associate a lot of games with that. I also like watching Let's Plays and, like, certain content because it, it, uh, broadens my horizons with a lot of games. Yeah. Because it also helps with my own show, with collection clearing, because then I, I have games to look out for. That's why I watch Proton John so much. Because he's, he's got so many games that it's like, oh man, that's a weird game, let's go look for it. That be, might be fun to collect. And right. then we end up with games like Red Wings. I mean, that one, that one I just got for free. No, that's how we get games like Deal or No Deal. How dare you speak ill about our Lord and Savior our Howie Lord, Mandel? Yeah, our Lord and Savior Howie Mandel. Yeah, you're right. Would I recommend any good LP channels for background noise? Uh, yes. Uh, Stephen George. Stephen plays specifically. I would recommend his channel just because his commentary is... It's, it's definitely good energy. Um, but... His commentary is also pretty lax, um, and the games he covers are a wide range. Like, right now he's doing an LP of uh, Pokemon Let's Go with his wife. But, like, I would also recommend his Red Dead 2 LP. That's a really good one to just, like, play in the background. Um, what are some other good ones? His Mario RPG LP is really good. His Bioshock one, specifically. Uh, those were ones that I remember listening to a lot in the background. Because, like, I don't, you know care too much about Bioshock but uh, his LPs are good of it um, obviously Sugar Conroy great one but he's he's kind of high energy uh, what are some other ones that I Game Grumps Game Grumps are another really good one like there's actually a lot of good compilations of the Game Grumps playthroughs you can just play in the background like I I actually will put those on in the background like while I sleep um, I should should I be a shill and suggest one of my own LPs? No, I won't. I won't do that. Um, what are some other good ones that are like good background noise? Because uh, I'm trying to think of like commentators that are good but also aren't like super high energy. Because I don't, I don't, I admittedly I don't like the let's. You know, the Let's Players who were like, Hey guys! Welcome back to Subnautica episode 572! Make sure to smash that like button like my girlfriend smashes my rim! If we can get to 6 trillion likes, I'll post my girlfriend's nudes! Let's go! I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that shit so much. And those are like the super popular creators. Um, oh, Masayanella. Masayanella is another good one I'd recommend. Just the Runaway Guys in general. Anyone from the Runaway Guys. Lukagen's another good one if you're someone who's into more adult humor. Because um, she's also like, her jokes are awesome. She's got some great humor to her. If, again, you're into adult humor. Um, and she's not super high energy with her commentary. She, she's got a pretty chill voice. Um, also, I guess if you're fine with VTubers, she's a VTuber now. Uh, Proton John. Even though Proton John's a streamer primarily, uh, he does have some YouTube content. And it, his YouTube Let's Plays are actually really good. Because he goes over to super niche games that most people wouldn't care about. And he actually goes into pretty high detail about them. Like, the guy's really knowledgeable on old NES games. So it's it's actually interesting to hear about, like, some NES game you've never heard about. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh yeah, here's, like, all this history about it. It's always interesting. It's, but again, uh, John is 
almost primarily a Twitch streamer. And he has been forever. So, I, I wouldn't quite really... Sleep alone. Nishu said, yeah, I like, like, I think the last Let's Play he did was, uh... Hold on, I may, I may actually look it up. Let me, let me get to a part where I'm not getting murdered. Um... There we go. All right. Let me let me actually look up his channel because I remember the last. I think the last video I remember watching on his YouTube channel before he took a break. Um, he went over like some like Japan only Famicom game that was based on some anime, and he actually was able to go into detail about like character design differences. Let me let me pull it up actually. Also, again, I, I guess with Proton John. Uh, if you want to know just how niche he goes into certain games, the guy is known for his Superman 64 Let's Play. Because he goes into excruciating detail. Of <laughs> yeah, he goes into excruciating detail about Superman 64. Like, the guy is genuinely good at that game. I guess if you've ever heard the meme "Move Faster, Pokey" from the Mario Kaizo games, if you've ever heard someone quote that, that's Proton John. Let me actually, hmm. uh, actually, no. His last video was uh, "Jet Set Radio Future." That's right. I remember. Wait. No, that's not it. No, 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 that is. Oh, well, he's all. He was also doing a playthrough of Super Metroid. No, there was a. Here it is. Uh, Kabuki Quantum Fighter. That's the one. Oh my God! And of course, it's going over the, just just going over the preview of the video. Of course, it. <laughs> the preview has pictures of fucking Rosa John. But yeah, that that was the last video I saw of Proton John. Obviously, I guess I got to catch up. Uh, but yeah, he did a he did an hour long playthrough of Kabuki Quantum Fighter, which is apparently some manga series that got a game, and like he goes over differences between the manga and the the game. Uh, he did a playthrough of Ninja Turtles: Fall of the Foot Clan on Game Boy, which. I remember having that game as a kid. Like, like this is the type of content Proton John does. I mean, he's he did a playthrough of Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy. Batman Return of the Joker. Vice Project Doom. Some of you may recognize that game because the Game Grumps have done uh, videos on that. I remember watching his Blaster Master Zero playthrough. That was actually fun. I, I actually do like his Blaster Master Zero playthrough. Uh, the nice thing about Proton John is a lot of his videos are on the longer side. So, uh... Oh, wow. He did a full playthrough of, uh... Triforce Heroes. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, I'd recommend I'd recommend that again. Runaway guys, anyone from the Runaway guys uh, channels. So you know, pro uh, Tom Fox, Tom Fox is a good one. Tom is the one who got me into Yakuza because he did a let's play of uh, Yakuza Seven or Yakuza Zero, and uh, that kind of exposed me to it. So I, I'd recommend any of those. Mm -hmm. But I'm also recommending those channels because that's pretty much all the let's players i watch i pretty much watch the runaway guys that's it i, I don't really go outside of that uh, territory well well we are not good enough to get this probe not good enough to probe this side of the earth yeah um actually it's planet mira um actually ground is also called earth so fuck off <laughs> 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 that's just what they want you to think it's what the government wants you to think. Yeah, they can. If if they can control the weather, they can control what what words mean. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Um. 
I was gonna say, in terms of the runaway, I, it depends on what you call large. Because most people, when you say large YouTuber, they're like, oh yeah, 5 million subs. Yeah, like the Game Grumps have 5 million, but I think the largest runaway guys member is Chugga Conroy, and he has a million subs. Everyone else is... I think second biggest is Nintendo Capri Sun, who has 500,000, which admittedly, I don't know much about uh, Tim's channel, but I've heard his commentary is really good. Um, oh yeah, okay. No, I, I I read your message wrong. You're you're right, Niche Keys. I, I interpreted it wrong. It, they are well known. Yes, the Runaway guys are definitely well known. I wouldn't say they're content super. Yeah. No, you're right. I apologize. I, I read that wrong. No, they they are definitely more well known. Um, the only other there have been some small channels I've tried looking into um, that I actually thought were really good. Like I remember. Was it two years ago? There was an Animal Crossing Let's Play, Let's Player that I found that was really good. Like they were doing like speed builds of uh, New Horizons, and their commentary was really good. They only made like two videos, and then they stopped. And they only had like a hundred subs. And I thought they were super cool. I actually tried collaborating with them, but uh, they didn't. They didn't exactly turn me down. It was one of those things where like I found their content, thought it was really good, and I wanted to collab with them. And they're like, "Oh yeah, I'm down." Uh, but I'm still new to the whole YouTube thing and I want to learn like my style of content first and I was like that's cool take your time like you know and then I didn't hear from them for like six months so then I checked their channel and then saw that, like they deleted all their videos and it really sucked because their content was super good yeah I I'm trying to find smaller let's players but the problem is like and, and like you know I'll say the same about my channel. Uh, when it comes to smaller channels, there's a lot of shit. Yeah, I, I think with when it comes to a lot of channels, especially nowadays, they can be relatively, like, I don't want to say large because sometimes that isn't always the case. Oh, actually, they, no. They, they could be small time, but they st but a lot of the content is just not very good. Yeah. Um, and I mean, let's look at my channel. Um, there is one channel. It is, it does have well-known people on the channel, but the channel itself has very, like, is very, uh, small. Uh, Super Beer Bros. It's, uh, huh? the Completionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Completionist. Yeah, yeah the Completionist, uh, Let's Play channel. He rare, Gerard's rarely on there. It's mostly, uh, Brett and Alex. Uh, but their commentary is really good. I, I recommend them. I I specifically remember really enjoying their uh, Simpsons Hit and Run LP. Which that one does have Gerard. The only other one that I can think of as of right now, and it's mostly because I've been not only like watching some of it, but using it as background noise. Uh, Caddy Plays. Uh, Cat Icarus is... Uh, I've Watch heard out. of his, yeah, I've heard of his channel. I haven't watched it though. He he's just got good, like I mean, his scripts for his videos are good, so I can't imagine his improv would be bad. It's not that bad, but like he isn't high energy all the time. But he, like, he keeps it relatively calm, even in like in most cases he gets loud, but that's only because like shit that's going on. After after that, he's right. just commentating on what's going on, talking to his chat, reading off other things, and just making his family laugh at that point. Yeah, I, those are the type of Let's Players I like the most. I like the ones that just, you know, they're they're not that super... They're not the fake high energy. Yeah, no. I hate that stuff so much. I hate that fake energy. And that's, that's usually what you see on the front page like, of YouTube. Yeah, like if it's like a... Like I don't mind the high er fake high energy if it's used as a gag. I'm trying so I don't worry. What are you what are you don't, attempting here? Don't worry, he won't notice me. Fuck yeah, that works. <laughs> Work. I knew he was going to see me if I tried to pass him, so I paid attention to his walking patterns, got under him, waited for him to turn around, and never suspected it. Art. Idiot. But uh fucking dumbass. But, uh, and we can't. Okay, cool. Well, sh but uh, yeah, like if it's used as a gag just to kind of like get a point across, 
or something, then yeah, I can find it fine. But the constant like fake high energy and all that, it's just unneeded and it really just takes it out of it. According to some, I guess my my Animal Crossing New Horizons Let's Plays considered good background noise. That's what I've been told. Uh, but you know, I don't watch my own Let's Plays, so I can't say that for sure. I just make videos that I think are good enough to post online, and then that's that. But I have been told that, so I guess there's shameless plug. Sorry, cancel me. I accept it. Promoted my own work. Um, I think that's about it for me. It, it, admittedly, I, I that's about it for in terms of let's players on my end. A lot of the other channels that I watch are uh, a lot. I watch a lot of varied content. Yeah. Operation canceled. He plugged his own shit. Content creator told me to watch his own his his videos. I gotta cancel it. Mission failed. I'll get him next time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really say much about my points because, like, aside from the obvious, like, kind of big names like Markiplier and shit like that, I mostly tend to just watch a lot of like funny moments type videos. Those are also good. I. For me, the big things that I've been watching are stream VODs. I, I've been binging a lot of Proton John's uh, stream VODs. I really like yeah. when streamers just have a channel dedicated to just oh, re uploading yeah. their streams. Because I think those yeah. are the best types of content to, uh, to it, binge. Yeah, because that, that's kind of one reason why I've gotten into like watching Cat Icarus and his VOD channels. Because I love his content on his main channel. But it's also like his VOD channel is like a good thing to just kind of sit down, have it on, especially in like the background, and just have it there. Yeah, because admittedly, 99% of the Let's Plays that I watch, I don't actually watch them. I just listen to it. Um, yeah. And I usually do like while I'm at work or I'm, I'm cleaning. Um, actually, there's one. It's not even gaming related, but I've been watching it a lot lately. Uh, Review Tech USA, his stream channel, RTU Streams. I've been watching those. Those are, uh, those are good. Hey, look, we found another USB drive. Can we use it? Can it actually be useful? I don't, I, uh, try plugging that into a computer. It, I think it'll fit. I'm sure that, I'm sure there's one. Hey, yeah, really it'll fit it. mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I can make it work. I, I can make it work. A lot of people are on like. I guess if if having let's plays as background noise isn't really your thing, I know a lot of people are into podcasts. There are some podcasts I listen to. Uh, admittedly, not. Well, I'm also what's the one? Many. I I I typically only listen to one. Mainly because it's just. It, it's just people having fun. Yeah. Oh wow, looking at the time, I think we are good to call it. Fuck you, we're not fighting you. <laughs> no. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. What even are you? You're like a... My mom says I'm special. You're, you're like an abomination version of Ammonite. Look at that. What even little... is that thing? Look at that little shit. Uh, <laughs> I think I think I think Mama heard ya. Uh, yeah, I think we, I think I think we're good to call it. I think we're. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Let's go crazy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for for hanging out. This was this was fun. <laughs> and apparently we hit our sub goal for the stream, so, uh, fun fact, I, I am now gonna have to stream Sonic Adventure I am now legally binded. Point. Yeah, I'm, I'm legally binded 
th that I am forced to play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 at some point. We're gonna finish Xenoblade X first. <laughs> but after that, if we're gonna you, play, play. If Sonic it makes you Adventure. feel better, I'll be here when we get to the big part. <laughs> but what if we play it in June when you're out of the country? Well, then, suffer. <laughs> Visiting your partner, you're like, you're like, sorry, babe, gotta, gotta tune into the stream. Blue's playing Sonic Adventure. <laughs> He's that big. He he's playing as Big the Cat right now. <laughs> oh no! I forgot about Big the Cat. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Do oh. oh. I don't. You know, guys. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do Sonic Adventure. I I, <laughs> I just now realized I have a I have a rare case of uh fuck Sonic the Hedgehog itis. There, I, I have not played them, so I can't say. I, I, that, that's I why, have, that's I, why I, we're doing I have, it. I have. They're just boring. Get over it, Usopp. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, we're doing it because, you know, we got the sub goal. And, you know, I, I've been told that my my distaste for the games are uh over exaggerated and that's probably true because i i have not i have not played sonic adventure i'm not i have played sonic adventure 2 and while i admit it's fun uh i did run into glitches on the first level that made it very difficult to actually beat the first level because you know phasing through the floor uh is fun uh, but we're gonna do it legitimately. They have a PC port. The, yeah, and 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 then I will be able to justifiably say whether or not something is bad. Okay, because I will admit, I secretly like Sonic 06. So uh, you know, I, I think my opinions on Sonic the Hedgehog are not not the best. Will I play the Chow Garden? Probably. Oh, I I don't know. I don't know. It is in both know, games. I don't know anything about the Chow Garden. How how bad is it? Uh, literally completely fucking optional. We'll we'll do it. We'll do a little bit like, of it. Like if I since I have played both of them, uh, you can completely not even know it's a thing in Sonic Adventure One, and in Sonic Adventure Two. Isn't it, it just like mini games where you're raising the chow? It, it's primarily just raising the chow, and then if you want, like have it participate in different little mini games, like a racing or maybe a climbing, or maybe have it fight to the death with another chow. I mean, it, it, again, I have not played these games, so I wouldn't know. I com I complete games based on enjoyment. So like Xenoblade X, I'm saying it now, we're not 100%ing it. We are doing just enough to get through the story. That's it. Uh, just just to put it out there, we probably will not 100% Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, but I'll look at it. I'll look at the Chow Garden. It's in there. Might as well look at it. Yeah. Also, for context, we will be playing the PC ports of the games because uh, Steam. they're the cheapest. As Well, yes, my local game store does have the GameCube copies for both Adventure DX and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. They are over $200 each. Because retro I, I gaming is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, I will also bring this up with Sonic Adventure 2 on PC. It is not, by default, the battle version. That one is sold as, X, as DLC. Tell me, what are the differences between the two? I just figured battle was the definitive version. I think with battle, it's only just like extra characters for the... Uh, Multiplayer? I can look real quick. Because oh, okay. I don't know. I, 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 I did not right. roll up with these. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, it literally right here. It's uh, six new characters, twenty-one additional two-player battle maps, and Chow Karate. Oh, okay. All right. That, that, it's literally just that. multiplayer bullshit. Okay. I guess I won't worry about that. Yeah, so, again, we got to beat Xenoblade X first. 
Who knows when that'll happen? Because this game is fun. I, I think we're like halfway through the story now. Which, having the scale makes it easier, but also... I remember not beating the game when it first came out because one of the bosses at the end of chapter 11 sucks ass. So, yeah, it, it Xeno, the entire Xenoblade X Let's Play is just going to be get through a little bit of story, spend a bajillion hours grinding because you're going to get your ass kicked by the next boss in the story. That That's just the flow of the game. That's basically how we can sum it up here. Yeah. So, uh, who knows how long it'll take for us to beat Xenoblade X. But, and this is actually one of the things that I failed to talk about earlier in the stream that I'm now reminding myself, we are going to have a schedule change for the streams, uh, which will actually make it so that I'll be able to stream Xenoblade X more consistently because I have not been able to stream Xenoblade as much as I would like to because of school. For, for those who may be out of the loop, uh, Back in March, I started school. Um, I'm, I'm going to school for cybersecurity, trying to get some certificates so I can get into the tech industry because I'm tired of dead-end warehouse jobs and my my job is actually paying for the schooling. So yeah, haven't had time to edit videos, haven't had time to do as much stuff because I'm trying to focus on studying. Uh, well. One of the things that I did in order to help with studying is I changed my work schedule, so now I'm technically a part-time employee. Even though I'm making more money than I was when I was working full-time, don't c question it. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me either, and I, ha I, d I do this. It's my job. I don't get it. Uh, but yeah, so I'm changing my schedule around for work in order to accommodate school, but it's also going to accommodate streams. So to put it bluntly, starting next week, Xenoblade streams as well as just let's play streams in general will be on Sundays same time frame 6 30 p.m. to 11 30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time just instead of doing it on Fridays we'll do it Sundays uh, and the reason for that is because all of my schoolwork for my my class is due every Sunday and I usually don't allow myself to stream unless all my schoolwork's done for the week. So it's one of those things where it's like, if I'm behind on school stuff, instead of being like, okay, I guess we're not streaming Xenoblade this week. It'll be one of those things where it's like, well, you know, if if I, I do all my stuff until the deadline, and then when the deadline hits for the schoolwork for the week, it's like, all right, cool, school's done. Now I can stream. Even though like I, I am someone who is good at getting my assignments done, uh, it just works better for me. Uh, as for collection clearing, that that's staying the same. So, uh, what that means is tomorrow we'll be doing a collection clearing stream, same time, 6.30 to 11.30. We will be starting with Alien Isolation, I think. Isn't that the game we're doing? I forgot that that was what we said, yeah. Yep, we'll be starting with Alien In Isolation. Fact, while, since you reminded me, I'm going to quickly get that ready for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, get the... Yeah, we, yeah, I'm trying to do a better job at keeping track of games, so I'm not just every five minutes like, what game do we play? What are we doing? Man, I'll even date it. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll be doing uh, Alien Isolation to start. The other games will be up to you guys, chat and roulette. And uh, then we'll, we'll start the week strong with more Xenoblade on Sunday. That's it for me. So uh, anything else you want to say before we end things off? Uh, not at the t at not at this point in time. I do have something that I might bring up and back it down towards the May time, but until then, on a need to know basis. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get the hell out of here. Thank you everyone for hanging out and and, and chatting with us. I hope you had a good time. Let's let's get out of here. See see you guys yeah. tomorrow for scary game. Spook. Bye bye. Spooks and scare shocks and fears. I I Oh shit, I just now realized I'm gonna have to Oh fuck. What's up? So remember when I said I had to get a new hard drive for all my PC games? Yeah. That new hard drive came in the mail today and I gotta install that.
which also means I gotta move all my PC games before collection clearing tomorrow. Yay! Yeah. I have like two terabytes worth of PC games. Fuck. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's okay. I'll get it figured out. I have fast internet. I have unlimited data. I'll I'll figure it out. Ooh, yay. I'm actually glad I bought that hard drive because uh for one, I don't have enough space on my main drive for all my PC games. And uh also no, I <laughs> As I keep going further into my tech class, uh, I keep having to delegate space on my hard drive for virtual machines. Like, just, what was it, yesterday? I had to install a VM that required 100 gigs. Fun! So, yeah. I, I, I kind of know that feeling. I have When it comes to games, I can't have a beta book problem with space myself. I mean, it's not like I have low space on my hard drive. Like, I think I still have, like, 400 gigs left on it. It's just the more space you take up, the slower it gets. Yeah. And I don't have SSDs in any of my computers. All of my stuff is uh, HDDs because, heh, I'm not spending hundreds of dollars for an SSD. Higher RPM be damned. Yeah, I know that feeling because uh, that's kind of how I'm at right now with how often I go through hard drives when it comes to video editing and stuff, uh-uh. I would rather spend 50 bucks for a 4 terabyte HDD and just deal with 72... was it? 7200 RPM or some... I think that's how much it is. I don't know. Computers are fun. I think. I say that both ironically and unironically because I do genuinely like computers. That's why I'm going into. That's why I'm going to school for cybersecurity. Yeah. I, I'm kind of with you there because they could be fun, but they can also be a big old piece of shit. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. You just gotta wait for the year of Linux. It'll be fine. Once, once, once Linux hits mainstream, boy howdy. Be a utopia. That's the part where you're supposed to laugh. I am laughing. <laughs> because I don't. I. I doubt. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> exactly. We just gotta go back to the 70s where everything was CLI based. It's fine. The GUI's overrated. There we go. Oh my god, I. S the GUI's overrated. I, I was about to go overweighted. The GUI overweighted. <laughs> I think that's our cue to leave. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you tomorrow.